official home for the San Francisco 49ers. Touchdown! San Francisco! Set town sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he music producer for a while sure. i specifically i just had this weird flash of like this is back when we were all kids and you covered everything and you wanted to go to everything and the king sent out this god i haven't thought about this in forever talk about a deep dark place of the brain the king sent out this press release that maloof wasn't it maloof music i think was a label for a second and they were showcasing their new band narwhal you know, like the, the fishes with the horn? I think no. it's a whale, actually. <laughs> and narwhal. And I think Phil was the maluv that was... None of the other maluvs were there. Maluv. That was always my favorite thing. Like The plural of maloof is maluvs. <laughs> M-A-L-O-O-V-E-S. I like to maluve it. Maluve it. <laughs> he was also a television producer. Ah! Probably know a bunch of his shows. Like? Living Lohan. That's got to be Lindsay. Bull Run. That's that's what we called everything they said during relocation. And Feast. Don't know Feast. He also played Detective Morton in the movie Vegas Vampires. Oh, classic. Which I kind of want to see how he did in that. Sin City becomes the site of a horrific (laughs) vampire plague. When a gang wow. of vicious bloodsuckers descend upon the gambling paradise and soak the dry desert sand with warm, wet blood. <laughs> wow. I like the way that's you... all one sentence. I like the way you uh, started it, though. Since City becomes the slut. Uh, okay, I just, I'm, I'm searching. Wow, I didn't know this is going to be a film aloof Thursday. <laughs> searching his name in YouTube, there's two results that come up film aloof and film aloof Oregon. I'm not joking. That's literally what come up. I'm not clicking the second one. What was the name of it? Vampires in Wall Street? <laughs> no, uh, Vegas. Vegas Vampires. Oh, yeah. Vampires of Wall Street. Vegas Vampires. I just want to see if it, nobody's going to see this. Nope. The only thing that comes up is Phil Maloof sells Las Vegas penthouse for more than $12 million. Good for you, Phil. Good for you. $12 million for a Vegas penthouse? My, I only have four for mine. Wow. He was the uh, he was the youngest, right? The bebe. I think so. I do. Yeah, I think it was like what George, Adrian, or Adrian and George, then Joe, then Gavin, then Phil. Joe wasn't the oldest. Joe was he? That throws me though. You might be right, but then why would you name? Why would you name your firstborn son Joe and then your next one George Maloof Junior? 
Well, isn't that the, what the first one should be? Isn't usually the firstborn the junior? Yeah. I, uh, well, some families, they do like the grandfather, and then they do the junior. Oh, okay. I actually thought it was even Joe, Gavin, George, but I could be wrong. We should uh, play that. That should be our, uh, for the next uh, contest we have is list the Maloobs. Friday in or- Funny Games. In- yes, yeah. list the Maloobs in order Maloobs. from uh, oldest to youngest. Yeah. Um, this might shock you, but Debo from Friday is in that movie. Vegas vampires. Well, he was probably the star. <laughs> he was. He was probably like the guy that they got. Like we, hey, <laughs> we got a big get. Who? Debo. Samuel? No. The other one. He doesn't even exist yet. Uh, yeah, he's not alive. Uh, how was your uh, How was your day and night, Jason? Uh, day and night was good. Yeah, got a little windy, and uh, what's going on? Like, we got, we got, do we have some stuff coming? I think there's a as Garth Brooks said, there's a storm moving in, but I don't know. Garth said that. Uh, Garth, yeah, the uh, the thunder, uh, the thunder rolls. Mm. Uh, yeah, thunder road. Uh, that's uh, thunder road. Bruce Springsteen. I don't even know. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's supposed to rain around 10 a.m. today. Just like you like. But you know what? I found recently iPhone weather's kind of iPhone weather and Phoenix have something in common. Oh yeah. They're, they're both BS. <laughs> they really, really are. Um, they don't they, half the time. They don't know what they're, they're talking about. Oh, it's supposed to snow today up the mountain. Wow. Well, look oh. at that. Hey, would you, Hey, would you look at that? How about that? How about that in April? April <laughs> snow brings May flow. April snow brings May. Yeah. Show. Show. You know, not what I was thinking, but yours is better. Um, <laughs> good morning, everybody. Welcome, man. Uh, we're going to talk about this A's thing today, obviously. Uh, Kings in uh, New York City as well. So uh-huh. the uh, Knicks tonight, our general manager will be there. Hmm. Yeah, be there, right there, sitting. Also, uh, a bunch of the crowd downtown people flew out for that. That's okay. a, I mean, they usually, you know, they'll go a couple times a year to the West Coast, you know, Clippers, right. stuff Utah. like that. Yeah, Jeez. Phoenix. New York. Okay. One of them posted a, uh, a a screenshot of the the departure gate. It's the old jet blue red eye that I love so much. They're taking left at like midnight last night. So yeah, they uh, they're they're there now. Crown downtown loose in New York. Look out! Look, Look out, out, NYC. Yeah. Bing bong. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you ever? You ever? Um. You ever get told one thing's for dinner, and then you go do your own thing, and then you come back, and it's something completely different that's kind of like, it's it's fine, but you began, like, subconsciously preparing for the other thing yeah. you're looking forward to, so you're kind of I mean, disappointed? That, I think that happened to me more as a kid than it has recently. <laughs> I don't like uh, dinner curveballs. Just, that happened last night, and it was, it was you know, it was my wife's night. What's for dinner? Cheese eggs. Uh, no, and rice. eggs, cheese, and rice. It's like rock, paper, scissors. You got to get the right order. Um, no, no honestly, her, <laughs> sounds terrible out of context. I say, you know, because she never gets specific. It's like she wants to hold out until, so she'll just give me the category. So set I set the screen. I say, what was that content? How does set the screen work there? Are you serious? <laughs> That's her. That's her. Oh, wow. oh! You don't even know what your drops. Are. I don't know any of them. I don't even That's know that I said them. That's her saying. Okay, I I got it now. You, you should stick, learn this stick with us. I don't know. I've literally played it every time you bring her up. <laughs> I I just feel like you're just randomly playing it. I didn't put that together. Oh, that's good. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Set the screen. I don't know what it means, but let's go. So I say, what's for dinner? She goes, something Chinese. That's that was her response. So I go, oh, cool. And my wife has made all kinds of, you know, stuff that is arguably not, but, you know, that we categorize it in, uh, whether it's like chicken fried rice. Um, we made crab rangoons once together, and then she'll, she'll do that now. How'd that go? You know what? Honestly, um, not not hard. Not not like you'd think. You, you make the mixture, which is incredibly easy, and then you have the wonton wrapper, and, and you just you put a little dollop in the middle, and then you just, you know, you put it together. You got to wet the corners. You, you put it together. You just, the biggest thing is just frying because you got the oil and 
sure. splashies and you know, splashies. it's messy and all that. But we we got into this whole fusion thing. We got into this this deal with uh, I went on this deep dive a while back with uh, uh, wonton and egg roll wrappers. You know, believe it or not, they sell them at the store. I mean, whatever store you shop at, they're there. They're cheap. Mets they're, have cookie. Say that again. The Mets saw have that cookie co- egg rolls. This yeah, year. no, and I'd love to. Ch- I, look, I think egg roll and wonton wrappers are criminally underrated man you can use them for a lot of stuff we did i've told you this we did uh we did like cheeseburger egg rolls once those things were, i could eat a pound of trust me a pound if i had a fresh piping hot bowl of tray of cheeseburger egg rolls and, and a little dipping you make uh like big mac sauce to go with it is dip a bit garlic aioli I think I'm still feeling that garlic aioli, <laughs> man, a few days later. That thing should come with a warning. It label. was sweating out of me. Dude, seriously, right? Like, you you smell the garlic in your pores. I mean, it was good, but it, it potent. Yeah. So, anyways, I, I'm thinking, okay, are we doing cheeseburger egg rolls? Are we doing uh, chicken fried rice? Or we should get the big slab of the, the Chinese barbecued pork, which I love that you slice up. And then I and then we're ready. Uh, my dinner. I was playing. A, I, I was beating this video. I beat this video game I've been on for a while now because I was doing important stuff. Because I'm a middle aged man, father of two, it's very mature. So I was beating this game, and uh, right as like the the you beat the game screen is doing this thing, and she's like dinner, but I couldn't leave because I was watching the ending. So I get downstairs. No, I was. You know, you play the whole game. You want to watch how it ends, and. Uh, they're there you know everyone's eating and there's my plate and it's spaghetti you're like i just did some amazing work upstairs i and i come down here for a plate of spaghetti yes i literally beat a giant prehistoric dinosaur machine and saved the world from extinction you felt more than you need more than spaghetti do you think after saving the world from extinction and beating all these hybrid dinosaur-looking machines. Do you think they all celebrated with spaghetti? No, they probably had something Chinese. That's what they did. <laughs> so it's it's spaghetti. It's our which is uh, pretty great. Spaghetti's absolutely great. Cheese bread, which we, our our own family recipe. Yes. Love cheese bread. But here's what my wife insists on serving anytime she makes spaghetti, because we have to have a vegetable. So my plate was spaghetti, cheese bread. Let's take a guess. Let's play a quick game here before we break. What was the vegetable on the side? And this is the vegetable my wife always serves with spaghetti. Broccoli. Broccoli. No. Gosh. No. Corn? Nope. Carrots. Carrots. Uh-uh. It's, it's, it, by the way, this is not a... Spinach. Ra- no. This Brussels is not, sprouts. No. This is not a random veggie either. Like Cauliflower. Nope. This is a very, very potato. Nope. I mean, I, you've named like all of them, but this one. Well, two. There's peas. Peas. Green peas. No, I, I'm fine with green peas, not the mushy ones. You know, I actually like the mushy peas more than. Oh my peas. God, you are English. Christ, <laughs> those things suck. The ones that come in the can. It definitely depends on where you get them from. I've never seen mushy peas anywhere but in a can. Oh, what are you talking about? Well, hold on a second. I've seen them prepared, obviously, like served, where it's like mashed potatoes, but it's mushy peas. Get out of here with that baby food, dude. Get, you can shove this mushy peas where the sun don't shine i can tell you that right now so would you just eat the peas on its own just yes. get that done and then go for this that's a hundred percent what i do i eat the peas first and get it i don't dislike them but i'm not eat, i don't want a mouthful of spaghetti and peas it's just texturally not great girl peas i don't agree with that being served with spaghetti by the way at all my dad used to do fettuccine and peas like in the peas like are mixed in though. Right? That's right. Now pe now now peas can be mixed into pasta. There's there yeah, absolutely. I think peas but not is, with the red sauce. No, that's exactly right. A white sauce base, yes, hundred percent bow tie pasta, hundred percent spaghetti. I think I'm actually it's coming up. Right? <laughs> you always know it's a great meal when you do one of those. 
Mm, it's gross. Not, it's not a burp. It's a. <laughs> oh, God. Is that the garlic aioli? <laughs> uh, all right. We'll take a break. Look, a quick one minute break. We'll come back. We'll lead it off. Just two things today because they're the biggest ones to talk about. Uh, the Kings back in action tonight against the Knicks. Uh, and all the games are important now, but this one. Uh, it's for real. Yeah, it's for real. Uh, we got a guest cavalcade today. Uh, not a Dave cavalcade. That would be interesting. Kelly Brothers, Sports Business, 730. Uh, Sam Amick. Mm. Sam, is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Sam Amick. Uh, he will join us at uh, 8. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the uh, the A's perhaps coming to Sacramento. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into all that. We'll answer all the questions we can answer. And we'll uh, hang out with you at 1-800-920-1140. You can text us at 916-339-1140. Leading off is next. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at YouTube.com slash Sacktown Sports. When you get nachos, tacos, empanadas, spicy queso with jalapenos, Pepto Bismol's there. Pepto-Bismol provides fast, effective relief from nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, and diarrhea. All the things that can happen unexpectedly on vacation. So before you travel, pack the Pepto. Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Progressive presents Precious Moments. Nothing beats driving cross-country in our RV. This is so much fun, Dad. I don't even need to look at my phone. It's not the destination. It's, it's the, the journey. journey. Jinx. <laughs> the exchange you just heard didn't actually happen, but it could. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive, and you could use the savings to make sure that RV is always ready to hit the road. Who knows? Your teenager might actually put down her phone for five minutes. It could happen. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. Let's do it. Leading off the three top stories in the morning. Huge news. This is very important. Here's cut number one. This New York defense just relentless, so physical, collapsing three defenders around Sabonis and forcing them into the turnover. Turnover number 12 by Sacramento. Can they get another defensive stop? They're going to have to. 45 seconds to go in this one. Brunson calmly across the midcourt line. Now drives to the right, wiggles to the left, floaters up, gets in. 40-point game for Jalen Brunson. Nick's lead, 96-91. Really? That's that's what's going on? You know what I heard again? You, the, the, screamer, the Nick Screamer. <sighs> she was there. We well, this was supposed to be our game where we're there screaming behind the Knicks broadcaster. Honestly, I hope that's why Crown Downtown's out yes. there. I, I would like to see Let Mike Tavares screaming behind Mike Breen. Yeah. What time is Mike on, by the way, Chris? Oh, show. He left me on red. Wow. Did you text him? Mm -hmm. how do you know wait how do you know you were on red it says so oh yeah but don't you have to have that turned on yeah oh okay he's one of those people god i would why would you ever voluntarily turn something on to where people can know if you've read their texts it takes away all your excuses yeah i used one yesterday as a matter of fact with a colleague at the station who's not listening right now because I forgot to send them something or text them something. It was hours later. You ever use this one? They're like, hey, I was just curious. Did you, were you, I, I, I didn't see that. And then I'll be like, oh my God, I wrote it. I just forgot to hit send. You ever know? I've done that, but I literally I've did done that. it, but like, yeah. But like, I didn't do that. I just forgot to send. Oh no, I've done it where I've, yeah. I'm like, wait, I, oh shoot, I didn't hit you send. You didn't hit send. <laughs> now, if my read receipts were on, that's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Knicks and Kings uh, tonight, four thirty. TNT. This is an important game, dude. It is. I mean, we're I would say TNT exclusive for television, but always on the radio. Hundred percent. Like you don't want to just sync it up, baby. Yeah, just sync it up. Uh, you can hear that right here on Sacktown Sports. As you can hear every every single Kings game. Uh, Jalen Brunson, that's the guy you got playing. Or uh, is he playing? Oh. Scared me. I was like, God, that'd be awesome. I mean, you know, yeah. 
you know what? Screw it at this point. I'll take it. I don't <laughs> even care. Be, be injured for the game you play us and then be healthy yeah. afterwards. Uh, Jalen just 20 points on uh, uh, Tuesday against Miami. Uh, he had 30 the game before and then 61 the game before that in a loss in a loss. What a loser. Uh, he is, uh, quite the guard and that will be quite the matchup. I assume a Keon Ellis revenge game for getting pants when he looked the other way. Oh yeah. Jalen pulled the Yoki on oh, him yeah. and said, look over there. <laughs> then you'll right by him. That was tough. That wasn't key. I, I do not blame Keon for that. What game did Kevin get hurt? Was it was it that game when the guy came down on his wrist? Yeah, no, he went up and yeah, hurt his shoulder. I can't. Was remember. it that game? I don't remember. I don't know either. Well, you know what? Then it's a rev- You know what? Let's say it was that game. I want to say he was out that game, but it was the next game that he got injured. Hmm. Huh. Well, revenge game. Then. Yeah. Let's. You know what? I blame the Knicks. Yes, and we'll want to talk about this later too. Four thirty start. Well, we'll talk about that. I don't want to ruin three for madness, but these early East Coast starts, they're interesting. They're a little fun. Now, Kings have had a couple days off. Hopefully, they're rested and ready to go. A day off. Yeah, that's true. They had one day off. And then they Which was travel. Yeah. Those yeah. The between... Grizzlies. Those oh, are Grizzlies. The Grizzlies. Oh, oh the Grizzlies. Grizzlies. I hate them so much. Man, it's always the Grizzlies. Just grit and grind my butt. <laughs> Cut number two, please. Cut number two. Multiple sources tell Case 83 tonight that the Athletics are very close to finalizing the deal to temporarily play at Sutter Health Park before they expect it move to Las Vegas. Now, the team needs a place to play after this season when their lease at the Oakland Coliseum expires. Now, the A's and the city of Oakland were in talks for an extension, but those talks did not result in a deal. Now, the team saying they remain far apart on the terms needed to agree on an extension. To play in Oakland. Our partners at the San Francisco Chronicle reported that the Athletics were in Sacramento today for talks, which included Kings owner Vivek Ranadive. Details about the deal to play here in West Sacramento are unknown. The Chronicle also reported that the A's would revise their TV deal with NBC Sports California as part of a temporary move to Sutter Health Park. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's what it sounds like. Uh, the A's and 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 Sacramento. Look, it, it's 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 tough to verbalize, and it's even tougher to write it because it's like, well, the A's and Sacramento have are finalizing a deal. Well, not really. It's not Sacramento. It's West Sacramento, but Sacramento is involved. But really, it's Vivek and his crew, and the city's just kind of. I'm not saying they don't do anything, but it's really more like the A's and the Vivek group have our final, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But they're, they, they're uh, now an update on that. The, um, the idea was that there would be a, an announcement as soon as today or tomorrow. I've been hearing now that it's almost certainly going to be, uh, it will not be today. Almost certainly it should be uh, tomorrow. Uh, just, just too quick to kind of get everybody together. Oh, Friday. Yeah. Friday. It's a Friday fun and games. Yeah. Um, but not fun and games for the employees in Oakland Correct. who are, uh, as I understand it being, uh, today, a lot of them will be informed. I mean, let's just be honest. A lot of them are going to be out of jobs and some of them are going to have to decide if they want to commute for the next three plus years, perhaps, um, no details on a number of things, which I imagine they will clear up. And, and let me be very clear here. I, I keep adding this in asterisk everything. Everything I just yeah. said is a fact, but it's John Fisher. Right. I, and, and, you know, the whole of saying, you know, the old saying shovels in the ground. And, and, and until I see a, a pitch uh, there, I'll, I'll, I'll still kind of be shifting my eyes around. But uh, as KCRA said, multiple reports that uh, that, that the A's and, and, and Sacramento are, are circling in on a deal. Um, and then as far as the details go, uh, I had mentioned on social media, you know, one of them, I know people are curious about his team name. And again, that's tough to communicate. No, I don't imagine they're going to be the Sacramento Solons or anything. It's just, are they going to be called the Oakland A's? Are they going to be called the Sacramento A's? Are they going to be called the California A's? I, I don't, I imagine it'll be Sac. I'm imagining it'll be the Sacramento yeah, A's. That's what I would think. I would I think know. so, but you, you never know. Um, and then as far as deal, the, the, the length goes, I, again, I don't have any information on this other than what, everyone's assuming and what has been reported my use is that it is going to be a three-year deal with 
whole bunch with, of asterisks. With a whole opt bunch outs, of, not opt outs, but extension. Exactly. I think extension would be first yeah. because it could take four years, could take five years, right. uh, or it takes not less than three though. Right. No, I can't imagine. They haven't started that. anything in Vegas. That, not only have they not started everything, but Bally's, which owns this, the Tropicana site, which just closed Tuesday permanently, I believe, to be demolished. And uh, the idea is to build a stadium there. Bally's is having an internal stockholder fight about this. And they're on the verge of bankruptcy. So there's that issue. And we're going to obviously let this news break wash over discuss the whole thing i think it's appropriate i i think it's appropriate to uh you know keep the a's fans in oakland in, in your hearts and and feel for them uh for the time being as well at some point the conversation will switch and shift uh to the a's in sacramento being a reality and let's go um and then you know, Jason, more to come on this, but I'll tell you this much. Um, I'm against this. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I love it for Sacramento. I love it for the people that want to see baseball here. I love it for my kids and everyone's kids that can see Major League Baseball 20 minutes away. I get that. I hate it for Oakland. I hate that we're a part of it. I hate that I'm seeing Scabramento everywhere now and that there's going to be protests here. Like, it's not going to be pretty. Trust me. It's not... Sacramento's not far enough away from Oakland to prevent people from coming up here with sell the team shirts and blah, blah, blah. But once, if in fact it happens, the A's do get here, then for me, it's immediately I'm shifting into aggression mode. And now it's how do we get that Vegas stadium on the ballot? How do we get Vegas on the ballot with the teachers union? and everything going on down there, and then it's all about blocking Vegas, whether it's blocking Vegas for the team to stay here or it's blocking Vegas and it still stays closer to Oakland, and you never know. By the way, let me just say this. I know it's not likely. There's nothing saying the A's can't come up here and go back to Oakland either. That is a highly unlikely scenario, but stranger things have happened, and there are still buyers out there. So I think there's a... What, whenever the announcement is, if there is an announcement, of course, I still think there's a lot of really interesting moving parts on this thing. And we'll be all over it this yeah. summer. This is going to be a big, big part of uh, our sports coverage throughout the summer because, look, this is still Major League Sports in Sacramento. Sure, absolutely. And you, you can't ignore that. We'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, the Kings are in New York tonight. Uh, game two after that, that physical game in Golden One Center. Uh, and Madison Square Garden, not always uh, the friendliest confines. Stinky. Stinky. We'll, uh, we'll take Bing a Bing bong. We'll be right back right after this. Keep it here to Sacktown Sports for the Sacramento Kings push toward the postseason. Get analysis from our local shows, breakdowns from our Kings insiders, and all the thrilling moments from the G-Man. Fox now on the left angle, gets to two-point range, lobs it out to Herter, wide open. Three to seal the deal. He's got the triple, and Fox has a career high, 16th assist. Sacktown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Hey everybody, it's Kyle Draper for Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. Now you've heard me talk about my amazing experience with them when I got my new EQS. I tell everybody I know, their dedication to every customer is incredible. Whether it's by text or call, they are available whenever I need them. And they're also a major Mercedes commercial van sales and service center as well. So if you're a biz owner with a vehicle fleet, Mercedes-Benz vans are a smart business move. They're rugged, sophisticated cargo haulers that qualify for very generous tax breaks. And it is a Benz. Your drivers will love it and your company will look great. Sprinters are available at rates starting at 4.9% APR. So go take a tour of the gorgeous new Mercedes-Benz of Stockton showroom a half hour from SAC right off of I-5 at the 8 Mile Road exit or online anytime at mbfstockton.com. That's mbfstockton.com. 
Fans, the NBA playoffs are on their way. But before they begin, it's the SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament. Winner advances, the loser goes home. Eight teams vie for the last two spots in each conference. Hurry! Some teams will get in. Do or die. Others, they're coming up short. Forget about X and O's. Who wants it more? It's now or never. The playoffs are calling. But first, you got to win to get in. The SoFi NBA Play-In Tournament, April 16th through 19th on ESPN and TNT. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company. And that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. I love this time of year when the azaleas begin to bloom and the singing birds' sweet dawn chorus remind us that blue skies and sunshine are at hand. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. In sports, the definition for the word master is one who's achieved a high degree of skill, and that will be on display in the highly anticipated golf tournament. In the furniture business, a master is a highly skilled craftsman, an artist even, whose work is coveted by those who appreciate design, quality, and durability. John Keyes was the mastermind of Naturewood Home Furnishings. He knew that you wanted your home to reflect your personal style, whether that was a plain coffee table or a masterpiece for you to enjoy forever. That's why when you walk into Naturewood Home Furnishings, you'll find the largest and best selection of the highest quality home furnishings in Northern California. Masterful. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. If you're in the market for a new or used car right now, or if you just want to go see like what new technologies in the new cars nowadays, stop by and see my friends at Elk Grove Kia and the Elk Grove Vado Mall before you go anywhere else. As soon as you step onto the lot, you're going to feel like family. You're going to know why they have so many five-star reviews at Elk Grove Kia and why they're the number one Sacramento Kia dealer. Like, I love this five-star review right here. Quote, I could not be happier. My husband surprised me with my new Telluride. I love it. The staff is friendly, kind, and conscious. Took their time to find the perfect car. Thank you guys for the hard work. Great job. I love my new Telly. There you go. That's just another satisfied customer at Elk Grove Kia. So in addition to all the five-star reviews, the finance team at Elk Grove Kia has over 100 years combined experience. You know what that means? Financing for everyone. And we know going to the car dealership can be overwhelming, but come experience Elk Grove Kia. They go above and beyond to make sure this is an automotive adventure for you. Check out what's on special and what's on the lot today at ElkGroveKia.com. Or better yet, come see everything in person at Elk Grove Kia in the Elk Grove Auto Mall. Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. Oh, you heard the lady. 1-800-912-1140, 916-339-1140. Joe! Good morning, Joe. Yep. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, So, man? you and Jason are like peas and carrots, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate the that. Food thing. Yeah. Jason's a peas. Uh, going to the A's thing, good? if I can dab in that for a sec. I've been in so many A's games. Growing up here as a kid from SAC, just driving down my dad. I used to be like the Kings, man, like the Arco Arena, you know. It was cool. I wonder if we were able to keep the Kings here. That was an amazing triumph, and you remember that. Yeah. What is stopping the A's, the Oakland? What was stopping them from doing that? What's stopping Oakland from uh, keeping the A's, you're asking? Correct. Uh, I, there's a lot. I mean, that's a whole. Uh, we could spend. We the have whole, the grassroots effort, and and, and they and they do too. But I, I I think I think what is, I think I think what's a lesson to be learned by Kings fans, who I think already kind of know this, but just in case you didn't, is that the the fan base here did 
amazing things, and I'll forever be so proud of the city for doing what they did. But had David Stern and Kevin Johnson not been David Stern and Kevin Johnson, the fans could have lit themselves on fire, and it wouldn't have mattered. The team would have moved. In Oakland, they don't have Kevin Johnson, and that's no uh, offense to Shang Tao, the mayor of Oakland, but she's not a former uh, you know, Hall of Fame caliber shortstop, and the commissioner is Rob Manfred, not David Stern, who Stern was on his way out as commissioner, had the, the stain of Seattle moving to Oklahoma City, did not want Sacramento, which was always kind of his baby. He was here at opening day at Arco Arena, hitting the big drum with uh, Greg Lukenbill and friends at, at center court. He did not want to see the Kings uh, move, and he also didn't want to see him move to Seattle specifically. So Sacramento had a finger on the scale. Well, I'd say they had a hand on the scale in the uh, NBA offices and with the mayor, uh, a city council that, almost unanimously was behind everything and the fan part. Oakland pretty much has the fan part. Uh, the, the mayor has done, I think, the best she can do, uh, but she was also hamstrung by Libby Schaff before her and, and the stops and starts. This is not a sudden thing. This has been going on over a decade. And I think just yeah. in the end, uh, you know, John Fisher, and, and by the way, let me add this too. Say what you want about him. The Maloofs left open back door for Sacramento. The Maloofs always loved Sacramento. Yeah. Uh, they had that love for the fans. And John Fisher has none of that for the city of Oakland. So, it, it, Jason, you know, little, you know, it's peas and carrots. Basically. Yes, exactly. I mean, it, it was, it's peas almost, carrots, baby. Yeah. it's almost a miracle. I mean, to your analogy, to, to have in any other time, if this team was leaving Sacramento, yep. any other mayor here, and it's not offense to them, but we had a point guard from the NBA as our mayor Yes, that had a connection to the league. Like, it was meant to be almost. Nope, you're absolutely right. It, perfect timing. It, yes. It, yeah, it was kismet. It really was. So that that's the best answer we can give you, Joe. Last thing I'll say is if they come to Sac for a year, whatever it is, it's going to fill up. It's going to be great because I remember when the Rivercats first started, 20 some years ago, they were selling out more than the A's even then. That was before like the good A's, you know, right, right. Giambi and all that. And they were selling out and it, people show up and be great for the city. I think it'd be really, really cool. I, I, I appreciate that. I, I think, I think for the city, I don't think there's much of an argument that it's not a good thing. Yeah. I can't, I can't argue against the fact that just financially and uh, opportunistically, right. uh, it's, you know, we're not getting into feelings and ethics and matters of the heart. We're talking about black and white logic. It's, it's good for the city. Well, I think it's also still way too emotional right now. Not that it wouldn't be emotional sure, then, sure. but right now the sound of them playing here could be exciting for some, for others, it sounds horrific. But if, if it becomes finalized, 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 yeah. and like it's happening and yeah. now we're because some of those things will have to be uh, done far before opening day of next year. But now if you're in weeks and months to lead in with knowing it's happening, mm -hmm. I think it's a different feeling then. I could be dead wrong on that, but I do think there will be great support here. I, I do, but I, I, I today, don't you know, right away, like if it was yeah. officially announced today and say there's no other hope, it's over, I think that's a wound that's going to be really fresh for a while. But then when you actually get here and it's right. like, it's still opening day, and it's the beginning of a season. It's new yeah. to Sacramento. I think it will be well-received. I could be wrong. I think it will be completely – I mean, opening day is going to be a, 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 a madhouse. And I don't know this. You know, look, there's going to be a lot of uh, – you know, they're going to probably bring everything under one roof and 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 share a lot of the duties for King staff. Sure. And what they did at Golden One Center – before it opened is, you know, there's such a demand for season tickets that they, in, in many cases, either gave incentives or required people to sign up. I, I think it was for three years. Um, I imagine they're going to do something like that That's smart here, assuming it's going to be three, perhaps more, but you know, they're going to incentivize and or require the season ticket base to be a, a three-year commitment. And, and probably the same thing with the you know the the luxury box layouts they have there, which they do. Uh, and so I I I do believe opening day and maybe even the entire first year. I I think it's going to be a hundred percent capacity. I do. I think they will have probably by opening day completely sold out their season ticket base for all three years. 
what I do, what I do wonder is by year two, year three, and perhaps even the end of year one. I mean, again, this is something that I know is very difficult to visualize right now, but imagine game two twenty five mm-hmm. of this A's team, sure, and everything that John Fisher. W- do not make the mistake that John Fisher and his ownership group are going to come here. It's going to be all smiles and, hey, we're excited. But just wait. There's no reason to think it's going to be much different, at least as far as team investment, than what's going on right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be delusional, but I also wonder, would there is there any possibility there's more pressure to do a little bit more? Because I, there's really yeah, none in Oakland. I think there will be a little more. And as much as I, I can stay on this stance, I don't want them to leave. But honestly, I think for the organization, for them, yeah. for baseball, it would be the worst if they stayed for the next three years and still went to, like, I yeah. think that would be horrific. I agree there. with you. I agree with you. It would be. I, it, this it, isn't it, much of a step up, though. I, I mean, I disagree with that. It. They're going to get the new flavor out here. Sacramento is going to do the Sacramento thing they where show they up. support, they show they up do. and support it. Um. And again, I'll keep going back to this analogy. It's like if your significant other left you for somebody else but needed to stay in your bedroom with you for three years while he got, you know, he was stationed in the military or something and and came home, uh, that would be an awkward three years. That would be them staying in Oakland. So instead, she's going to go stay at her friend's house uh, in Rockland. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, also. I don't think it'll be awkward the entire three years. I don't. I've got a question, too. What? How much has the union been a part of these discussions? That's a good question. Know anything about the the players' union? Yeah, yeah. I, I. That's there's a lot of things that yeah. are still like <clears throat> have have the Giants and have the Giants weighed in? Are are I was talking to. Uh, I'm sure they don't want this. They, that's the thing. I, I was talking to one of the the Kings uh, minority owners about this the other day, and um, they were like, "If I, if I, I own the Giants." What are you talking about? Uh, this can't happen. Are you yeah. crazy? For multiple reasons. One, this is still kind of their region. Yeah, and it's their AAA team. And it's their AAA right. team that it sounds like they may not remove, but uh-huh. it's like, wait, now you, are you, I don't even know if you're hurting them per se, because in the end, they're just trying to develop the players, yeah. but it's just, it's awkward. All of that's awkward. My guess, this is a guess. My guess is Rob Manfred probably got a hold of Charles Johnson and the ownership group was like, look, guys, we're trying to get the A's out of here. And we're doing everything we can to get them out of state and give you this entire thing. By the way, Major League Baseball could also overrule, you know, they also have leverage on the Giants because they could sit here and say, you know what, we're we're overruling your claim on San Jose. Like Ace can go there. If if they if the Giants gave up their claim on San Jose, they just have a new ballpark there in 20 seconds. Like that that thing's still there, but the Giants claim that baseball supported it. So baseball does have leverage on them, and there's also a, a carrot, if you will. Uh, in in the Giants letting this happen because if it leads to the A's being out of here permanently yeah. and long term, this is now completely their region. That's an incentive for them. Would there be less? And I don't want. I'm probably wording this wrong. Less of a not care for you, a concern for you if they went to Salt Lake. It's still the same thing about all the awful things about them leaving Oakland. Yeah, but what, it would I be Sacramento? Would I feel better about way. it if? Yeah. It, it, yes, I would. Okay, I would. I would because we wouldn't be complicit. We wouldn't be. Uh, I yeah. think the point is someone will be. You're right. You're right. Somebody will be complicit. Yeah. But, but it but doesn't have to be us. That's what it I'm, doesn't. It but, doesn't. That's, but I know you like shut off all up, but I, we can't shut off Salt Lake. Or no. does some other Portland come through and go, we'll do it. And you know what? Again, and I'm just going to drive this one into the ground. Uh, I don't want to use anybody here. Let me just say, uh, let's use Tom Bailey. Yes. And I found out yesterday that she is leaving him. Unfortunately, they've been married thirty years, two kids, three, three kids, and so um, I pay my taxes. I think I'm going to ask her out, and I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, I'm really good friends with Tom. I love him. He's like a brother to me. It's true. I've known him twenty years. Someone's going to get with her. Might as well be me, right? It's the same analogy. Wow, same. that was a really good analogy. You know what? Thank you. It is. Yeah. And that's that's what I have to try to get over in my head is I feel like I'm the good friend that is you're really good friends with the A's, aren't you? Really Sacramento and the A's, good Just friends. Besties. And the A's are leaving, they're divorcing Oakland, and Sacramento's like, got a bed right here for you, kid. 
well, yeah, but I'm already with this other guy. Mm, maybe, but you know what? Maybe if you come here, maybe your experience with me will be so good, you won't get with that other guy. And meanwhile, the other dude's like, you said the previous person was treating them? Huh? So they that- were. And the guy's like, look, we have kids. We have family. I'm in rehab. I'm working really <laughs> hard on my addiction. I'm going to counseling. I'm working out. I'm doing all. I haven't been perfect, but I love my significant other, in yeah. this case, wife slash A's. I'm doing all I can to make that. I really want to make this work for the family long term. We are tearing these kids apart. And that part is true. The kids in this situation, yeah. the fan base, and they're the ones caught in the middle while mommy and daddy are fighting. Sounds like peas and carrots. But then once you know the move is made, okay, well, now the move is made. Let's 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 screw Vegas, <laughs> you know? Because if that's the case, would I rather them permanently be here than in Vegas? Yes. I didn't think that was much of an option. I I don't think it's much of an option either, but. You know, it's one of those never. It's an seen. option. It is an option. All right. Well, uh, m- much more on that. We're going to flip flop. We were going to talk about the A's at seven. We'll talk about the Kings in New York at seven. That's what we were going to do here. But yeah. uh, Joe with the phone call kind of set us Joe. up there. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. For, way to go, Joe. Way to ruin the show, dude. Jeez. Uh, when we come back, safe or out, Giants, A's, and Orioles. What? We'll, we'll, we'll get to that next. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sackdown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! San Francisco! It's all on his shoulders. Knocks, knocks. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sackdown Sports and SackdownSports.com. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. The smarter way- Introducing the new Swiffer Power Mop, the all-in-one tool that gives you a mop and bucket clean in half the time. The solution's built right in, so no heavy bucket, and the pad has hundreds of scrubbing strips to get deep into grout. Don't mop harder, mop smarter. Swiffer Power Mop, Swiffer Power Mop. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has a selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. At Ashton and Price, we get injury victims to yes. Experience, yes. Ashton and Price has been around for over 25 years. No more insurance companies, yes. Our clients focus on getting better and we handle all the rest. Results, yes. We've collected over $100 million for injury victims. No fee until we win, yes. Our clients pay nothing until we win. Ashton and Price, the best at getting to yes. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fitty and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Safe or out? It's time to go around baseball. Three pitches, three swings. It's safe or out on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Ah, 
Ah, there you go, YouTubers. You were paying attention closely. You saw me almost eat it. Tripping over I our, saw it. our arena seats. That's I never saw happened. You clip it. With my big clogs. Uh, as we uh, as we get to uh, safer out, I just want to highlight an excellent question by Jason. I'm gonna be thinking about this for a while. Is why why are there no uh, permanent sporks? Like it's just the plastic. There's the plastic sporks. Jason said, "Hey, are there still sporks?" I said, "Yeah, I've got like a a solo cup in my cabinet with a bunch of plastic sporks in it sure. for the kiddos." But you're right. Why are there no like? Why in your? Why is there not a section in your silverware drawer for sporks? It's a pretty good thing for us as kids. It so works. why wouldn't it work as adults? It's one of life's great mysteries. Also, build a better mousetrap. Should we, I think, start some Sacktown Sports branded sporks? Yes. Permanent sporks. Because there are some meals you're like, spoon, fork. I mean, I Don't can know. do either one. Why not but, both? Yeah. Less dishes. That was also a uh, one of the trial names for the morning show, the permanent sporks. Yes. Who are the sporks, those Wayne Smurfs? Oh, no. I've seen them at Ace of Spades. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Madness coming up at 7.13, by the way. Safe yeah, or out? Much, much later. Much later. Question one, please. Safe or out? Hey, hey, I lost the bet. The Giants are better than their record. I think that's safe. I do. Look, you, you just... You're, you, Can you, you stop playing the Dodgers? Right. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, the Dodgers are in another league. I mean, Sweeperoo. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the Giants still haven't played a home game. They've got to be one of the last teams to not play a home game. The Yankees, excuse me. Oh, you guys haven't played a... Wow, oh. and they've had to play the Astros in the uh, defending national oh my champion. Gosh, you're just lame. Diamondbacks. Thanks, Katie. Did I tell you how old I thought you were? Did you just call them the defending national champions? National League champions. Oh, okay. National I might League have said national. Yeah. You might have been a... You eight. called... Uh, yeah, you called 80... Uh, 80? <laughs> <laughs> called Katie an old lady yesterday. Katie an old lady. Katie an old lady. I called her 80. Is that shady? You don't have one. I'll be never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I do. I think they're great. I think they're better than the record. I think they're a five hundred team, and they're safe. not, not five hundred. So yeah, safe it is. Safer <laughs> out. The oh, A's. Jason never said. Oh. I said safe. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, Chris. Sorry. Back to you. <laughs> you had a very big problem this week I'm, of knowing when people have finished their. I honestly, I don't pay sandwiches. attention to anything. Safer out. The A's are exactly what their record is. What is their record? One and one and something. Five? Yeah, I think that's safe actually too. I, I think they are. I think that this is, they're bad. They're really, really hey, like, they haven't played a road <laughs> game yet. It actually might be easier. You know what? Saying the A's might have a better road record than a home record. I think is, they will. Well, they're one and six at home right now. One and six. Oof. Oof. Uh yeah, that ain't great. It's still a loof. One and six. They're all, but you know they're only three and a half out. Oh, mathematically eliminated. They're only three and a half out, but Still they not the worst record. Uh, Marlins. <clears throat> oh golly, jeez. Yeah, the Marlins are on seven. Floppy fish. Floppy fish indeed. Yeah, I think that's safe. Um, they're bad, and they're gonna be bad. And uh, I, somebody made a really good. I think we're this is the last we're gonna hear of it. They should call. Well, not that they should call the team, but honestly, they, I should have put this as safer out. The A's are a quadruple A team. They're not a triple A team. I think they do well in triple A. That's silly. But they're not a major league baseball team either. They're they're like in the hall, like how the we call quad them. quad A's. They're the quad A's. That's what they should be called, the Sacramento quad A's if they come here. That, the squad A's. Ooh, not a major league team, but close. Yeah. That's their motto for next year. It's a little bit like Sacramento. We're close to everything, but yes. we never really promote anything here. That's perfect. We're close to Napa. Near California's taint. T- taint Tahoe, taint LA, taint uh, San-, San Francisco. Yes. <clears throat> you got that look in your eyes, Jason, where you're going to go where I go today, and I don't like it because you're usually the mature one, but you've got that, that mischievous look in your eye. It's kind of a turn on about why. Question three, please. Safer out. Mm, gross. <laughs> Safer out. The Orioles have the most talented organization in baseball. Change the station name to Sacktown Sporks. Thank you, uh, text guy. <laughs> Jason. Yes. The Orioles prospects. Like Jackson Holiday? Uh, ja- I'm looking at Heston Kerstad. That's made up. Um, 
Jackson Holiday, the number yes. one prospect, as you mentioned, who had four hits. They played uh, the Charlotte Knights in the uh, AAA International League. 26 to 11 was the final. And they have to question. The pitching? Yeah, I was going to say, you got to question the pitching on their side. Hitting off a tee? Uh, dude, their minor leagues are stacked. And by the way, they won 101. Yeah, their major leagues are good too. I, I look. I, this isn't a perfect comparison because Baltimore is a bigger market. But honestly, I feel like the Orioles are like the the Oklahoma City Thunder of baseball. Like they just they they very quietly assembled this amazing organizational talent. They haven't won the World Series yet, but they're here, and I think they're here to stay for a long time. Yeah, I think so. Without having intimate knowledge of every single team's sure. minor leagues. But when you look at minor league rankings, they are at or near the top. They won 101 last year. Yeah, I think they are. And a guy like Jackson Holiday, who was the number one pick a few years ago, yeah. has been killing it. And, like, by all indications, should have made the big team, but just didn't yet. So, yeah, they're loaded. I mean, if, if they're keeping him away for just because they have too many guys in the big club, man, it's a good problem to have. Seriously. And then, you know, that means you can trade someone, get more talent where you don't have it. Yep. Or have somebody switch positions. Yeah. <clears throat> my goodness. Good for you. Good, good for you, Baltimore Orioles. The one of the doormats of the league for a long time. Did you know that there really is a Baltimore Oriole? I, you're a liar. <laughs> that still gets me. In fact, when we were on that East Coast trip and we were driving, through, were you looking for him? We, I was telling, I was doing one of them dad things, Chevy Chase. I was like, kid, did you know? And, and, and the only team with the thing that's the same as the thing, the Baltimore. There's actually a Baltimore Oriole there. <laughs> Kids, Big Ben, Parliament. I, I told you, right, by the way, did I tell you we drove over that bridge? Oh, and you did? We drove over that bridge the, uh, on the way from the Scott Francis Key. Scott Key yeah. Bridge. Yeah. Didn't even realize that when I saw the news until my wife pointed it out when she looked at the map. Um, no real segue there, just other than, you know, didn't realize that. That is my worst nightmare. Uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, all right, Kings in New York tonight. Start the, uh, start the hour there. And uh, don't forget, Kelly Brothers at 730. Sam Amick. For his uh, his weekly Thursday extended conversation, uh, you know what the key to tonight's game is going to be. I'll just give you a little teasy preview here, Jason. What I believe the the key to tonight's matchup with the Knicks is, it's going to be after that long flight, after just having one day off and, and beating the Clippers and being shorthanded, can the Kings maintain the defensive energy they need for forty eight minutes? And to me, the only way they're going to be able to do that is by switching full-time to electric this spring and saving big with American energy. Now, you, you want to stay ahead of those energy bills this summer. Jason, I showed you my pg e bill last week. Yeah, it was personal. But yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I showed it to you. You know, we were close. Look. You look. You look. Yeah. You stared at it, by the way. It was shockingly high. Maybe. <laughs> to nine grand in rebates from SMUD that American energy can get for you on a new ultra-high efficiency comfort system. Now, American Energy is providing those huge rebates, and I always try to make this clear. Anybody, anytime anybody's ever tried to get a rebate, you have to, like, clip the thing and then make a copy and fill out, like, 19 forms and do a thing, and then you have to, like, uh, mail it, express, and uh, return. There's all – I mean, seriously, I'm not even really exaggerating, especially with a lot of these utility company rebates. They make you jump through hoops. That's an underrated service American Energy offers. Like, they do all the paperwork for you. They'll get you, and they do this all the time, so you know they're going to do it right, and they're going to get you every single penny. So when you put together the rebate, when you put together what you're going to save, it practically pays for itself. But, I mean, actually, kind of does. Get rid of the fluctuating gas bills as well in the winter and switch to a year-round all-electric with American Energy. Let them perform a free in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. These guys are the best. Learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990. AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy, making the uncomfortable comfortable. What needs to happen other than outscoring them for the Kings to win in New York tonight? We'll talk about that next. The Sacramento Kings start their final road trip of the season in New York. Philippi Fox all the way. He drives left. Great pass inside to Alex Lynn. And Lynn gets the flush with two and a half seconds to go. 21-point lead for Sacramento. It's the Kings and the Knicks from the Garden. Get all the play-by-play -play action starting at 4.30 on your home of the Kings. 
Sacktown Sports. eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. DQ presents the sound of BOGO-free blizzard treats in the DQ app. It's the sound of downloading the DQ app. Let's face it. Nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support could be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford. In the Folsom Auto Mall, you can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. This segment is brought to you by Kia of Vacaville. Check them out at kiavacaville.com. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento, the only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom! With Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports.
Let's get to the Kings. Quick ruling, though, from the uh, the crowd here of two. And, uh, you know, look, don't avoid your initial instinct. Just be honest. Is it weird to think that a video game character is attractive? <laughs> I don't mean in a creepy, weird, obsessive way. I mean, what do you mean? Well, like I was playing this video game, and I thought, like, oh, well, that, that character's attractive looking. And then I was like, ugh. But then I was like, is this the same thing as, like, the Jessica Rabbit corollary where... In the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit, a lot of people thought Jessica Rabbit was meow. Mm -hmm. She's not, she's not even a, she's a rabbit and a cartoon. I don't know what the rulings are. She was a person. She was a rabbit. No, she wasn't. I thought she was. In Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, wasn't she a rabbit? She was a person. Was she? She got his last name because they got married. Oh, I thought she was a rabbit. Well, whatever. You still have some interspecies stuff going on there that's nothing weird to talk about. I'm just saying, is it acceptable? I wouldn't have thought it was weird until you started until talking like this. Thank you. Exactly. I'm not saying I'm putting a poster on my wall. I'm saying, I'm saying I, you took it down. I'm not saying I didn't either. My wife walks in. She's like, what are you doing? Well, that's staring at the poster. We saved the world together. It's pretty yeah. cool. Anyways. Do you not have peas? What is <laughs> uh, the uh, Kings play New York tonight, Jason Ross. Yes. Uh, the next. Jason, have you ever been to Madison Square Garden? stinky yes i have i have not is it all they say it is um bing bong <laughs> i've been outside it uh it is interesting to say the least so i was so excited to go the first time i was there yeah was like, it's the of basketball exactly you hear all this stuff and i remember walking in the garden uh i was there the first time with the monarchs and got inside and it's like wow it stinks in here. Oh, really? And we were like the freight elevator, and they said, oh, the circus was here. I said, oh, really? When? Like four minutes ago? Oh. But they're like, yeah, a couple weeks ago. I'm like, it just stunk. <laughs> and I, re- I would have thought the elephant was in the elevator with us. It was so stinky. And then you get inside, but then it's like, then there's something that comes over. You're like, wow, this is... Because it didn't look that... But this is before the renovations. Because you're just thinking like it's going to be this most amazing palace inside and it's just it, it didn't feel like it to me but then you just look at all the banners and all the in there's a bunch of pictures throughout of all the historical things that have happened there you're like wow that's kind of amazing that all this stuff has happened in this building that's is it is it like the stink of history basically yeah, yeah. but now it's been redone i think it's better the other part that it literally is as you if you've been to the outside it's like wow there's the it's here like you're in you know manhattan it's like in the yeah right it's in, in the, the middle, middle of, of everything yeah yeah so it just, I, I, you know, I'd been so used to at that time, Arco Arena. You're like, you drive to a separate place, arena standing still on its own. Here, you're in a major, ma- the major, the biggest city, the major, the majorest. Uh-huh. I mean, uh-huh. I saluted this city. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Um, the colonel and then there you go. It's just right there. But it's, um, I think the renovations have made it a lot better too. November 3rd, 2019 is a date that will live in infamy. That is the last time the Kings won in Madison Square Garden. I actually thought they'd won since then, but looking at it, I'm wrong. Uh, The Knicks generally give the Kings a really bad time, regardless uh, of where it is. Although uh, the Kings had a couple wins uh, over the last few years, for the most part. um, And by the way, the lifetime uh, head-to-head series between the franchises, Kings won 59, Knicks won 50. Yeah, yeah, but eat it, New York. Yeah, not uh, not much there though. Um, for the Kings and the Knicks came in and beat Sacramento ninety eight ninety one. That was just back last month, March sixteenth. So, Jason, tonight, am I? I'm not saying this is the case, but I'm going to present a theory to you. Taking away depth, that's obviously going to be an issue. The Kings might be a better suited matchup f- against the Knicks without Herter and Monk than with them. And I'll explain. I know you know where I'm going here. Obviously, no shade on either of those guys. I'd far rather have them. But for this specific matchup, you're you're definitely going to have Keon Ellison for, for Kevin Herter. And now with Malik Monk out, that means who's getting his minutes? Trey Lyles? Davion Mitchell, Alex Len a little bit when people slide around. All are better defensive players. In fact, three of the best defensive players the Kings have in Len Mitchell and uh, the other guy I mentioned that I owe, Trey Lyles. And 
I feel like that specifically for the Knicks yeah. might be a good thing for Sacramento. And even then the next layer becomes Duarte and Kessler Edwards. Yeah, you're People right. That you kind of have used already as defensive guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I I can see that that angle for sure. The caveat, the big fat all yes. caps caveat is that means Keegan and Harrison and obviously De'Aaron, you have to be hitting your shots. Have to. There's no like... There's no one saving you. No. It, I mean, no. Malik has saved them. Yes. I, I don't want to. You're right. We can't um, undersell what right. he has meant to this team because there has been so many games this year. It's like, man, they just don't have. Oh, Malik. Wow. Without Malik, where would they be? Malik, 24 points in the second half. Malik, all 10 points in overtime. I mean, Malik has been sensational. And um, they are they miss him. They will continue to miss him. But what you have to do is then get the best of everyone else in what they do. And. Uh, really, for the last two games, I think they've done a good job of that. Old heads will remember, and historians will remember. It's just funny we say that because we saw this guy play where we say historians, but there's a guy who came off the bench for the Detroit Pistons named uh, Vinny Johnson. Was, he was nicknamed the microwave. And part of the genesis of that nickname was he would just come in and heat things up. And their games are not exactly the same, but I always think of Vinnie Johnson when I think of Malik Monk, a guy that just to your point, things are things are not falling, energy's kind of off, especially at home where I think he's the most effective. Vinnie Johnson would come in and he could just tear the roof. He was instant offense, would just tear the roof off the place and it would lift the rest of the team. And right. Malik was like that. So yes, are they a better defense? Uh, just straight up in a vacuum, are they a better defensive team without Monk and without Herder? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But hey, you better have that offense going. And we're gonna I think we're gonna need more out of Harrison Barnes offensively yes. tonight than we got last time. Yeah, and I think that's where sharing the ball, passing the ball, moving the ball, getting the best of Sabonis, getting the best of Fox, and then Keegan being aggressive and then finding those other guys to hit. The open plays, and I think that's that's how this group is going to have to go to work because we now know Kevin Herter, we've already known, but he's officially done. They announced yesterday mm -hmm. there was more of an update that he had the shoulder surgery, and hopefully he'll be ready to go for the start of next season. Malik, it, it just depends on how far they can take this, but again, the initial report was four weeks reevaluation. So, yeah. I mean, it's basically been a one week. It hasn't even been a week. No, it's been one week. Let's, uh, Since you looked at me. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Who was that? Yeah, it's Bare Naked Ladies. Week. Who? Bare Naked Ladies. Bare Naked Ladies. Thank yes. you. That's a good band. B and L. Also, <laughs> um, as we go to break, yeah, the Kings sent out a press release yesterday saying that Kevin Herter had successful shoulder surgery to repair the torn labrum and blah, blah, blah. And I read it. <laughs> I found myself thinking, has there ever been a press release where a player has had unsuccessful surgery? <laughs> on, on an injury. Like as well, Frankie Johnson underwent unsuccessful knee injury, knee surgery yesterday. Like I understand that the surgery down the road might prove to have been unsuccessful if it's re-injured or I something. I was going to say I have heard of he's had successful surgery after his previous surgery. After right, but they don't know now. So why not just say he had surgery? Right. What what do you mean successful? Well, I mean they, they woke up. They try. Yes. Yeah, I know, right? They gave it their best because shot. There have been some, sadly, that haven't. I'm talking about like, but yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, no, I yeah, that went no, dark. Yeah, but yeah, but yes. But I know what you mean. Like, yes, talking about. Like, and honestly, do we know? Do we know if it was successful? Well, the, no! the other part, yes, he's still with us. That's well, important. right, right. I'm but like, what if the shoulder didn't heal properly? Yeah, and to be clear, we're talking about like ankles and knees and shoulders, right. not you know the right. other stuff that's that's more serious. I don't know. I just found it. Like, I raised an eyebrow. That's like. uh well, I forget what it's like. We'll take a break when we come back. Three for Madness brought to you by Fire Wings. Uh, did that Clippers win? And what I mean by it is the Kings win over the Clippers. Did that, that change your mind a little bit about the record on, on this road trip? And uh, who's going to be tonight's Velvet King? We'll talk about that next. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. 
They're all available right now on SactownSports.com. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. Bet you can't guess what we were talking about. There's just no chance. Yeah. You give them mm, all day. Gross. Exactly. Sports business with Kelly Brothers. <laughs> speaking of coming up at 7.30. Same Great evening, business. Uh, 8 o'clock. Right now, it's uh, Fire Wings is a three for madness. Question one, Chris Rulon. Did the Clippers win? Change your mind about the record on this road trip. Yeah, so. You had them at two and six. I had them at two. Overall. Overall. So now they've already got one. They do. Halfway there. Yeah. Living on a prayer. I would uh, be really disappointed if they went one and six the rest of the way. Wait. What? Two and six? Yeah. You saw oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, two you're and right. six. So the road trip consists of New York, Boston, Brooklyn, Oklahoma City. They need to. They do. They need two games. You know what? Uh, eh. I hate even verbalizing this. I'm going to adjust my prediction up one. They'll go two and two on this road trip. Okay. They'll, they'll get either New York or Oklahoma City. I think they might have good trips in New York, New York and Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, you th- ooh. Maybe. Of course, they're going to be, you know. Would it make you, I know this would fit the season. Would you be mad if they beat the Knicks, the Celtics, and the Thunder? And lost to Brooklyn. No, it would just it would be three and one. And it Are would, you you wouldn't be mad? Okay, like I would be, as we always say, I would be ground level mad. I would be fifty thousand feet happy. Like on at the day after the Brooklyn game. See. So that's Thursday. So tomorrow you could talk about a Knicks win. Yeah, we wouldn't really get to talk about the Celtics win because that's Friday. That's but old Sunday, news. Sunday it'd be we're back here Monday, and you'd be like, how do you beat? Yes. New York and Boston yes. lose to Brooklyn. That's what I, I that would happen. I, I gotta admit. Yeah. That I would 100 percent say that. I would eventually move into the but again. They already I, got two wins on the trip. They already got two wins on the trip. They they won in Boston. Uh I'd rather them, as we said before, I'd rather them beat the good teams and yeah. lose to the bad teams than the other way around, and they can't beat anybody good. Put that out there. I could have a three one road trip in the one loss. But I mean, it's like we said, they have uh, they're ten and five, and four of their in their last fifteen. Four of their five losses have come at home, and the one road loss came in Washington. Yeah, so it's almost the same thing, Jason. Ross. Yeah, uh, did it change your mind? Um, I, I, I was really impressed with that win. I, I really too. liked that Clipper win. I was uh, made me believe there's a little bit more to the totality of this group. So they got to keep playing like that. I, my target still is two. If they can get two wins on this road trip, that'd be good for them. Question two, please. Question two. <laughs> Who will be tonight's Velvet King? Well, not a day goes by that Jason's not my Velvet King. Hey now. But, you know, I'm going to go Trey Lyles. This seems like a Trey Lylesy game. Just New Yorky and, 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 and blue collar and defensey and, uh, you know, physical. Everything Canada is. Yeah. It, 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 it just. <laughs> It just feels to me like Trey Lyles could have himself a time at Madison Square Garden. 
You know who I'm going to say today? Who? Oh. Trey Lyles. I got the same one. I, I have the same feelings you do about this game and Trey Lyles. Yeah. And his importance to this team. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be big. I think he's going to be big. Yeah. Velvet King. The Trey Velvet Lyles. King Trey Lyles. We'll give him the uh, crown. Yeah. Question three. Question three. Do you enjoy early East Coast starts? Do I enjoy early East Coast starts? Well, tonight the Kings play the Knicks, 430. It's a TNT-only game. All Knicks. Which means Katie is paid to do nothing. Yeah. Sack Town Sports. Oh, Ron, the, uh, I, I, by the way, I don't. Yes. And 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 I was leading into a plug. Thank you for that. Uh, right here, Sack Town Sports. Yeah. Gary Gerald. Yes. Right? I don't know the answer to this. I give you my word, but let's go around the room real quick. Will Katie be at tonight's game, or will she watch it from someplace else? Now, just just to be fair, for context, she did say that when this happened in Phoenix for the TNT game, she watched the game from Marley's Sports Bar. Not saying it's going to be the same thing, but we're going to find out on Wednesday. Didn't she used to live in Brooklyn? She did. She uh, she bartended in Brooklyn for oh, a while. Right. In between uh, when the Maloves booted her for uh, Jim Gray, she uh, she moved to New York for a while. So will she... Watch the game at MSG, or will she elect to watch it somewhere else, perhaps with uh, New York friends? Jason Ross. I'm going to go with she's going to the game. I think there's a couple of things at play here. One, she was in Phoenix a lot longer, and she literally yes. said she was with friends. I don't know if she's got anything set up for tonight. Yes, Maybe that's more of a day thing. But also, they're leaving right after the game to go to Boston. Mm. So not that you can't get there right away or you know fourth right. quarter when the game ends. Sure. But. I think a little time constraints and that I'm going to say she's going to be at the game. Gotcha. Chris or Lod. I'm going to say she's not going to be at the game. She's not going to be at the game. Dave. I, I'm going to say, and you nailed it. I think she normally would not be at the game, especially in a place she used to live with. Yeah. Uh, live at. Like she had another then. day. But the fact that they're leaving afterwards yeah. and the fact that she is so manic about that stuff, I think bags her, will be on the bus already. Her and, worst nightmare yeah. would be to miss the plane. I think she'll be at the game, yeah. but I don't know. Well, Chris, if you're right, she stands alone, buddy. You yeah. get the trophy. Hey, by the way, the only time I've ever missed a team bus, Sac State, Kings, Monarchs, was in New York. Really? One of my first trips was in New York. I guess there was a, a text thread, and it was, I think it was one of my first trips. And they I was not, oh, and they had moved. The, I'm like, I, like I'm not going to be late. Let's say the bus was 430 or whatever. I'm like, I'll get downstairs at 415. And I saw a bus drive away, but I'm like, well, that can't be our bus. Uh, like, Where is everybody? And then someone called, where are you? I'm like, I'm in the lobby. Like, we just left. Like, oh, I, it's 415. They were going to the airport? No, to the arena. And oh. of all places, I actually ran outside, got a cab. I beat the mayor. Oh, okay. I mean, if the, yeah. it was the right place to miss a bus. Bing, but right. But I went, how? We, anybody going to tell me? No. I didn't get the text. That was like, that was your. Uh, it's my initiation. Yeah, your initiation. Yeah. You, they hazed you a little I was bit. Like, no. Uh. I love East Coast starts. Now I don't. I don't love them for the bedtime. Yeah, right? I, I, you really do. I do because you can. You know, the worst thing for you is it's the seven thirty TNT. Yeah, Lakers, Clippers. Whatever. Yeah, it's terrible. And game and gets pushed back and it's longer. And this thing you'll be you all wrapped up by seven probably yeah. ish. Home, home. I'll be in a snuggie by seven thirty. Easily in your in your snuggie by yeah. seven thirty. Your sack down. I'll bring it snuggie. here. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Uh, maybe bring the egg maker. It's, I had it's, one this morning. Did you? <laughs> so good. I didn't <laughs> even shush it around. Well, I've got one more bagel. That's gonna. I'm gonna complete the week. You are. You're gonna complete. Yeah. Don't burn out on them. No, you can't no. really burn out on them. No, but I think I'm gonna make them into uh, burritos, breakfast burritos. Just uh, do a couple and then throw them in. Cut them in I'm half. Tortilla. That's yeah. what we. That's mm -hmm. what we've done before. You just cut the circle in yeah. half. Um. I, I love them. I think. I think they're great. Now you know. Look, I'd rather be at home and have the home crowd. Blah blah blah. But for a road game yeah 4 30 you, you you're done and then there's other sports on at i night. wonder if it screws up the the real people that work uh that work till five or six that's the yeah. well and that's the caveat if you're working a nine to five nine to six you hate it and i totally understand that there's just no question it's it sucks and you're either but you know what everybody can get you can get tv on your phone yeah or the app yeah this is the gmail thank you and i so, am i'm not a fan of the Early games. Well, you're but Why? Yeah, because he's a contrarian. It, no, it messes with my schedule. Well, how so? Schedule? So, like, I when I leave here, uh -huh. I go to the gym. Yeah, come home, Flex. sleep for a couple of hours, and then that's basically yeah. I have to get like I basically 
my sleep is like three hours and three hours now <laughs> wait you take a like a long nap wait yeah so what time are you taking your nap at like three to six whoa and then what time do you go to bed about midnight <sighs> i mean i get out that's the home. only way i've been able to make this work. oh my god you go home and sleep right away, don't you? You're I go close. home. I go home. I eat, and then yeah, I try to. I, I try to get an hour or whatever. I mean, God, the other day I had like three hours and could not go to bed. It sucked. Yeah. I, I I usually wake Do you up every day or I'm no, day. Pro- almost always on Mondays because Mondays are the tough after yeah. tough one after the weekend, and then usually on a Friday for sure because the week's caught up, and then you know maybe probably about three times a week, maybe a Tuesday, Wednesday, mm-hmm. Thursday, but it's usually an hour or two. Yeah. I try to on a game, a home game night because I know it's going to be a little bit later and it just helps me. But today I probably won't and tomorrow. And then I, I mean, t- I'm already the weekend. Yeah. Good. But wow. I just, that, that, yeah, that's crazy. And it's got to be an hour ish, hour and a half. What time do you get out of here? 1230. Have you, tr- have you thought about going home, eating and napping then and then working out? I've done that. That doesn't work better for you because, like, I'll wake up and I'll just be like, I don't want to go. Uh, Uh, but even waking up at six, knowing that you're, I don't know, it feels like then you're going to bed soon again. He's going to bed at midnight. And so, what you're up at three, three thirty? Yeah, yeah, wow. By the way, people who work mornings like this, how many, how many things have you noticed that are you reading more things about how, like, wow, if you don't get eight hours of sleep every night, you're liable to have a stroke? Oh, yeah, all the time, all the time. But I will say this too. Way more people driving around in the morning. Oh, right? yeah. Right? What Way is with more. that? Like I saw it, that when this we morning. all come in. Yes. I just, for a while, I'm like, it's all these Bay Area people going to their jobs in the Bay. Get out. Yeah. Go back to the greater Sacramento area, San yeah. Francisco. Keep your team over there. Yeah, keep your team. You get even more of these Bay Area wieners. We'll take a break. Well, well, we appreciate you listening. Well, yeah, yeah, no, we do, and uh, you know, we know you love your sports. Yeah. When when uh, we come back, let's uh, let's you know what, guys, let's do a curveball here. Let's talk to Kelly Brothers. I'm feeling a, a Kelly Brothers mood coming on. Me too. Sports good business. At business. He is good at business, and uh, we'll talk about this A situation uh, and much more with Kelly. Uh, my dad's favorite segment coming up next right here on Sacktown Sports. The Sacramento Kings start their final road trip of the season in New York. Will it be Fox all the way? He drives left. Great pass inside to Alex Lynn, and Lynn gets the flush with two and a half seconds to go. 21-point lead for Sacramento. It's the Kings and the Knicks from the Garden. Get all the play-by-play action starting at 4.30 on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Once upon a time, you could get a heater tune-up or an air conditioner tune-up for just $59, or both for $89. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. I thought you were going to read me a bedtime story. Go to sleep now. (gasps) Bonnie.com. License 696-355. I'm Craig Ashton of the Injury Law Firm of Ashton & Price. Whether you've been injured on a bicycle, as a pedestrian, in a slip and fall, auto, Uber, Lyft, or big rig accident, you need Ashton & Price in your corner. When you call Ashton and Price, there's no chatbot telling you to hit three for accounting. You're greeted by a real live person who will immediately transfer you to an experienced attorney. The consultation's free, and there's never a fee until you win. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and value valuable coupons today. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. 
Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. When I want to stretch out after a long day, my sofa needs to be comfortable. But it also needs to look attractive and inviting when guests come to visit. I am Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. We spend so much time on our living room sofas that we forget they're a focal point and a hint to our decorating tastes. Right now, during Naturewood Home Furnishings sofa sale, you can save on every sofa, including gallery-exclusive custom-ordered flex steel furniture. Whether you're interested in a new sofa, sectional, or recliner, you can choose from hundreds of colors and fabrics. Nobody has more styles and choices than Naturewood Home Furnishings. And when it comes right down to it, it's all about choices and always about quality. Shop Naturewood for the look you love at a price you'll love even more. Visit Naturewood Home Furnishings right now for this remarkable sofa sale. Off Highway 50 at Hazel, look for the water wheel. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Bonnie. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCR Ray 3 Weather Center. It is Thursday and it's going to be a cool and unsettled day ahead. From the morning start, we feel the difference of how cool it is out the door. We get into the afternoon, we're looking at highs in the mid-50s with steady rain and few isolated thunderstorms. Get the latest forecast on the KCRE 3 News and the KCRE 3 app. This segment is brought to you by Kia of Vacaville. Check them out at kiavacaville.com. Joining us now on SportsSense, certified financial planner Kelly Brothers. Kelly is an advisor with CapTrust, one of the nation's largest registered investment advisors. CapTrust counts among its clients numerous pro athletes and pro sports franchises, but most importantly serves many Northern Californians through comprehensive financial planning. Here's Kelly Brothers. Yeah, he does. And I'll have words with anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> Kelly Brothers. <laughs> I love waking up and seeing Carmichael Dave's name more in the national media than George Stephanopoulos. Oh, uh, God, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah, that's a whole different thing. Let me let me tell you something. I did not want to break that story. I, I held it and held it and held it. And just a quick aside on something like that. First off, it's a terror. It's a, well, to, to a lot of people, it's exciting. To a lot of people, it's horrible news. Secondly, this is something I think you only understand if you've ever been through it. But when you break a story, there's this time between when you break it and when it is confirmed by multiple sources that you're just out there and God knows what could happen. Mm -hmm. And you miss one. I got crap on the timeline. I was like, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, Dave also said MLS was coming to Sacramento. And I'm like, and I want to be like, <laughs> guys, the commissioner was here. He, had, You're blaming me for that. He had a, they had a rally. What do you want from me? Yeah. But that just shows you. So you're out on this limb by yourself. And it's like my blood pressure is a little bit up today because of that. Kelly, I want to throw you a curveball, though. And I know you'll hit it out of the park, the good uh, hitter you are. Hmm. I know you're going to hit this one out of the park. And so one of the 3,800 people in the park will get the ball. But yeah. Yes. <laughs> so it was announced as the real breaking news today, by the way, here locally, is that local treasure Mark Finan is retiring after oh, uh, over three decades in the business. And, and Kelly, you work with him for many years over at Channel 3. I only have one Mark Finan story, and it's great. I think I've told this on the air before. This is when Barry Bonds was chasing the home run record. And we're partners with Channel 3, so anytime something sportsy happens and their C block is dead, they they <laughs> they troll for the bottom of the barrel. And I was the only guy available. So I go down there. You know, I'm in a nice, uh, you know, uh, I'm wearing a sport jacket. You know, it's, it's Channel 3. It's where the news comes first. You got to dress up. This ain't, you know, we're not screwing around here with uh, one of the others, you know, the, the – I don't want to name yeah. a station, but you get it. <laughs> so, so the way where they have me is I got an earpiece and I'm on a chair in like the middle of the newsroom, not at the desk or anything. I'm in the newsroom and I'm surrounded by cubicles and people, you know, journalisting away. And just to my right is, is Mark Finan has his like little half circle. You know what I'm talking about? Kelly yeah, setup yeah. that's in the newsroom. And so, uh, I, I look over, you know, whenever you do TV, by the way, they want you there four and a half hours early <laughs> and then you wait and for then five minutes. For, and then they have you on for 20 seconds. Yeah. 
So I'm sitting there in like hour three, and finally I turn and I go, "Hey, Mark, big fan." And he goes, "Oh, hey, Dave, same here." Which I was like, "Oh, yeah, he knows what you know, one of those." And then so it's kind of quiet, and then I I just I'm trying to fill time, and I go, uh, "Hey, Mark, what's uh so uh, we gonna get any rain this weekend or what?" Just curious because I, I I'm going to an outdoor party. Straight up on my kids, I'm not lying. So Mark, hey, are we gonna have any weather this weekend? I, I'm doing this party, and he pauses. And he goes. Well, Dave, we've got a system coming out of the West Coast right now. Uh, we're not. We're going to be nice and clear tomorrow, but tomorrow night around 5 p.m., we're expecting uh, maybe about three-tenths of an inch. You should be clear. Uh, he goes into, in his TV voice, this whole weather report for like a minute, and then by the time I did my Barry Bond spot, I'm still going, I just got like a cameo, one of those yes. things you pay for, full-on weather report from Mark Fine, and he, he's, a, he's a fun dude, Kelly. No, he, he's uh yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys. My my family loves Modern Family, and yes. uh, they, they had a they had a guy on there, Rain or Shine, who yes. was uh, the weatherman <laughs> in L.A. And uh, same thing, you just go you just go directly into his full weather cast, and right. he hit it hard. No, Mark, uh, Mark, uh, Mark's the goat. He is. He is yeah. unbelievable. He's he's not only a great guy, but he. Uh, I've grown addicted to his. Uh, he he does a morning feed from his home office. And uh, he spends, you know, four or five minutes talking about the weather. But he goes into, you know, the waves and the what this means. And this is sinking. And right. this barometric pressure is up. But, you know, he's he's um, he loves weather. He loves what he does. He, he knows it impacts people. Um, you know, I'll never forget. Um, it was New Year's Eve 1997. And uh, Mark and I went, in, went on to do a cut-in. Remember, that was when the floods, the rains were starting to come yeah. down. Now, Kelly, and, just to be clear, uh, correct me, if I'm, just for people listening, I'm assuming, so cut-in is like it's regular programming, and then you guys, it's like a little five right. second, like coming up on the news, it's, or yeah, whatever. Right, yeah. it wasn't even okay. yeah, scheduled to be three or four minutes and then go back to regular programming. Gotcha, okay. But while we were on, something came out. You know, Oroville Dam was to overflow, mm. or something came out. Anyway, we went in to do this three-minute cut-in, KCRA was on the air nonstop without commercials for 96 hours from that moment on. Wow. Uh, wow. Because that, I don't know if you remember that, but that yeah. was her, no. I mean, incredible yeah. rains. And uh, it was one of those situations where it wasn't just rain. It was warm rain that was washing down all the snow, which meant all of these dams were full and rivers were raging. But anyway, uh, but Mark was, uh, Mark's just the best. I think he's been there 33 years. Yeah, 33. So. Um yeah, so I sent the note from Derek, the news director, out to my kids, and my 21-year-old son says, oh, man, it's tough when your heroes go away. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only weather guy he's, he's known him his whole life. <laughs> That's right. No, we're going we're gonna to miss him. Um, and if we throw him a party, Dave, you're invited, and we'll ask him, hey, what's the weather looking like this weekend? Exactly. I, no, I want, him to, I want him to say, hey, what's going on in the world of sports lately, buddy? And, and, and I'll be like, well, Mark, let me tell you. Yes. They, they, and we'll start with Jason. The, uh, they, the Oakland A's. The Oakland or A's. Other team to be named A's. Kelly, what's your what's your take on uh, uh, this developing story? No, I, you know, I just, um, you know, I know it is sad for A's fans, but they can't go on the way it is. They just can't. No. You cannot have your second game of the year, have 3,800 people. And that's not even 3,800 people. That's 3,800 tickets sold. So, yeah. um, you know, that that's just pathetic. And I think they had 6,500 last night, but they're playing the Boston Red Sox. I'm actually surprised. Um, I'm actually surprised Mark Finan wasn't there. He's a big Red Sox fan. <laughs> but uh, so, so you just can't go on that way. They need to change something. And Sacramento is probably their next best option. If they just stay at the Coliseum, the anger and the animus – between the ownership and the fans is still there. At least now there's a chance for some new energy for a few years before they land wherever they land. I'm very interested to know whether or not the Las Vegas deal ever happens because their mayor is talking like, we don't want John Fisher. We with the A's, the A's let, stay there. We'll come up with something else. But guys, it, you know, when you own the team, you own the team. And we just saw that as well with Glenn Taylor in Minnesota who struck a deal and then basically uh, realize, wait a minute, this team is worth a lot more than I thought it was, and my team's in second place in the West. I'm not going to go through with the deal. <laughs> so <laughs> it's uh, – and by the way, the other thing I just saw this morning, uh, NBA to set a sellout record tonight in terms of number of sellouts in an individual season. 11 teams sold out every game, 11 teams including the Kings. 
it, it's it's a great segue into Glenn Taylor. And for those who are, you know, just kind of familiar with the story, Alex Rodriguez and his partner, Mark Laurie, had an opportunity set to buy the team. And uh, they were all set. And then a few weeks ago, you heard uh, that that they were having a little bit of funding issues, but they, they tapped a company called Dial Capital, who had minority interests now that the NBA, with the Kings being the first one, allowed these firms to take limited parts uh, of NBA teams. Dow Capital owned, uh, they divested their shares in the Suns when Robert Sarver sold. They still own uh, a decent chunk of the chunk of the Kings, and uh, they were going to help fund that purchase. What what I find amazing, uh, Kelly, is not so much the Glenn Taylor aspect, but uh, at, when they made that deal for that price, as it's well known now, uh, that value has gone up quite a bit. And, oh, by the way, expansion's on the horizon. Oh, by the way, the TV contract is on the horizon. The, these these values are only going to go up. What an absolute and complete failure by the Alex Rodriguez group to trigger that clause. for Glenn. They had a written deal, and it triggered a clause for Taylor to get out. I, I'm not saying I'm a fan of Glenn Taylor, Kelly, but you're the financial guy. From a financial standpoint, it seemed like it was a no-brainer for him. No, if he's no, if he has got, uh, if all of that is um, memorialized like we are hearing it is in a contract, you are absolutely right. It, and it, Alex Rodriguez uh, did not uh, get whatever signed document or whatever check he needed to get in to make this go through. And the sad part for A Rod is he could have turned around and sold it for probably a billion dollars more than what he was buying. It for. Right. So uh, I don't, I don't have a high regard for either side in this transaction really, because they both kind of screwed up, but um, no, the, the, the values obviously uh, continue to go up. And, um, and guys, here's a question for you. I mean, cause you know, I think th there's a WNBA team involved in this too, but I, you know, you watch that, that the Caitlin, way. the, the yeah. Clark uh, game, and um, and and I just I I can't figure out is college basketball really on the rise as much as it seems to be, or is this just a Caitlin Clark phenomena that's going to die off as she leaves college? And I don't know. And probably it's in the middle. Probably it is rising. It spikes with Caitlin Clark and comes back down to the trend line. But it's it seems. I mean, to see the numbers of viewership to see that it was the all-time highest betting event ever in women's sports. Um, and and also, I watched the game. I, I had never watched a full game before, and mm. she is unbelievable, although she has no mid-range game. <laughs> yeah. either, she, she doesn't. She, I mean, she is either a perfect pass to a cutter or she's hitting a 32 foot three yeah. but, and there's nothing in between. <laughs> Steph Curry. Yeah. yeah. You know, it'd be interesting, Kelly, because you're right. The ratings were just, I mean, I think everybody expected it to be good. They were astronomical. She plays in the final four, obviously plays Connecticut. If she were, and I think this is where we'll kind of partially answer your question because I'm assuming they'll have great ratings, but if she were to lose in the final four and UConn moves on to take on, let's say undefeated South Carolina, that's two power programs with with pretty good rich traditions, which I think a lot of basketball purists would love. But Caitlin Clark would then be removed from that. So I wonder if the semis would do better than the finals in that case, as far as viewership, if she were to be eliminated. Oh, is there any doubt that uh, whatever Caitlin Clark's last game in this tournament is will be the highest rated game in college yeah. basketball history, and will stay that way even after the finals? I. I don't think so, but you know, I, I will say this: I was laughing at ESPN because on their stack of importance of news, mm -hmm. they had the women's game above the men's game, and yeah. I thought, oh, well, that's very self-serving because you have the rights to the women's game, you do not have the rights to the men's game. But if you look at Clark's ratings, it's probably the right move. Yeah. Well, we we talked about this yesterday that the uh, the Iowa game versus LSU, which was a rematch with her. Angel Reese also is is one of those icons and that that rivalry there is very uh you know what would it, you know let, let's use Jordan Bird uh Magic Bird, excuse me, as an example here because I think there are some parallels and we got to go. But I think there's a lot of parallels here. So number one, uh you have you have that that rivalry that stems back to last year and people love to watch rivalries. N number two, Kelly, I think you're right about Caitlin Clark being that you know one of those iconic players that's going to 
raise all the ships as we say but the kerosene had already been kind of spread around it was a bit of a, a, a powder keg the WNBA, the Las Vegas Aces, have become must-see TV. The WNBA numbers are way up, but they don't even approach uh, the numbers of this game. This was an elite, an elite eight game, not a Final Four game. This is an elite eight game, and it outdid, uh, amongst other things, the NBA Finals, Major League Baseball, Thursday Night Football, and every single regular season college football game other than Ohio State, Michigan. So the numbers are there. And I do think the sport is very much on the rise. Uh, and I think it is a little bit comparable to Magic and Larry, where you may see Caitlin Clark and, let's say, Angel Reese both go pro and continue that rivalry. And that really, you'll remember, the NBA was on tape delay before that. That may help. I'm not saying it'll get to NBA levels. Who knows? But I think it's a very it's a good callback to what could be the future for, for women's basketball. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think you could be right. And, and, and I also think this could be a flash in the pan and we could get back to a, a more normalized level. Look and just see this incredible spike during the Caitlin Clark era. I, I don't know. I don't know if Angel Reese would, would inspire the same level of fanaticism. The other, I, by watching the game, like I said, that was the first women's game I've watched in its entirety, I think. I've watched a lot of pieces of it, but I'm not sure what I enjoyed more, Caitlin Clark or the histrionics of Kim Mulkey. <laughs> I mean, Kim Mulkey yeah. makes Luka Doncic look like uh, Harrison Barnes. Uh, she, <laughs> she is... There is no call that Kim Mulkey agrees with. So yeah. that's a good point. She does not. Yeah. No, Kim is uh Kim is must see TV. Kelly, yeah. how do uh how do people without enough money make more money and get a hold of you? Uh well they uh let me uh, you know where to find me at captrust.com. Gotcha. Kelly.brothers at captrust.com and uh tax day is coming up. Be yeah. ready, pay, because if not, man, they hit you with penalties and they hit you with interest and so remember, you can file an extension, but you still need to pay whatever tax you owe uh, yeah, by April 15th. Yeah, so. Jason. Yeah. Dodger. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you guys. You, you too. too. You, you too. Take care. That's Kelly Brothers uh, taking care of sports business for us. We'll take a break. Good when, business. When we come back, the A's to Sacramento, the details as we know it. And as promised from yesterday, I want to clean up uh, one of the things I said uh, that I didn't believe about the A's coming here. Uh, talk to some people that know things. Uh, they, they, they gave me some ideas, and I wanted to share those with you. Always want to make sure you have the best possible information. So we'll take a break. We'll come back, and we'll summarize what we know. And you're home of the Kings. Hey, and you're home of the A's, too, by the way. Sacktown Sports. Know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729. Or visit us at Power Copy with RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned, our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916-900-8112. That's 916-900-8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. It's easy to think all money managers are pretty much the same, but at Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Different? How? You sell high commission investment products, right? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope. Never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our client's best interest. 
It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No, we have one transparent management fee structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look out for your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments, clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. Dirty Heads, live in concert. Every single day. Friday, April 12th, 7.30 p.m., the venue in Thunder Valley. The special guest, The Elevators. On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Rescue me. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. We love the game because anything can happen. There's no sure thing. How did that go in? Every play. Oh, my goodness. Every shot. Are you kidding me? Every swing is a risk if you bet. I can't believe that just happened. There's no easy money. There's no luck. And no one wins all the time. If you bet, bet responsibly. And always set a limit. Learn more at responsibleplay.org. Waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. When it breaks, we have it first. It's Sacktown Sports breaking news. All right, I guess I have to do this the official way. As first reported by Sacktown Sports, the Oakland Athletics to Sacramento is now official. A press release joint from the A's, Major League Baseball, and the Sacramento Kings. I will read it as such. Sutter Health Park to host A's baseball. Today, the Kings, majority owner of the five-time Pacific Coast League champion Sacramento Rivercats, announced that Sutter Health Park will host the A's for three seasons starting in 2025 with an option for a fourth, which was our guess earlier, ahead of the team's transition to Las Vegas. Vivek was quoted, I'm thrilled to welcome the A's to Sutter Health Park where players and fans alike can enjoy a world-class baseball experience and create unforgettable memories. Uh, Rob Manfred, commissioner, Major League Baseball, quote, on behalf of all of Major League Baseball, I want to express my appreciation to West Sacramento, Sutter Health Park, the Kings, and the greater Sacramento region for their excitement to host the A's for interim play as the A's new permanent home is built in Las Vegas. John Fisher, A's owner, quote, we look forward to making Sutter Health Park our home through our move to Las Vegas. We extend our appreciation to the Kings and the city of West Sacramento for hosting the A's while we work to complete our new ballpark in Vegas. It goes on to say, not only will fans be able to experience baseball in West Sacramento, Major League Baseball, but they will also still get to enjoy the tradition of minor league baseball and the Sacramento River Cats. So uh, again, as reported, they will share that. Um, Carmichael Dave, quote, Thank you for releasing this right when we teased A's news at 7 a.m. Coincidentally, by the way, one correction. Uh, I had mentioned today 
in my report last night, I said there's going to be an announcement as soon as today or tomorrow. And then late last night, uh, I got a text from somebody involved saying we're you know we're trying to get all the principles, but this thing might be Friday. So I said might be Friday too. Uh, the press conference is actually going to be happening in two hours, mm. 10 a.m. So they are rushing this thing out uh, at Sutter Health Park. And wow. uh, yeah, so that's it. It's official. The well, the, the posting of all this is official. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. There's still questions. There are a lot of questions, yeah. but uh, I, I will just, and then I'll, I'll turn it over to you here, Jason. I, I will just say this, and I'm speaking only for me. I'm not going to speak for anyone else. This is a bittersweet thing. I appreciate all that Vivek has done and the group has done in, in helping, obviously, save the Kings and investing in Sacramento and continuing to advocate for the city and um obviously this is good news for them this is good news for the city financially uh it's good news for the city from a spotlight and major league standpoint that maybe could and, and this is a true thing it will bring more eyes on the city it will bring more investment in the city this could open up doors in mls it could open up doors in baseball i'm, I'm not immune to any of that that from a, in a vacuum in a black and white from a city standpoint, uh, it's it's hard to find fault in this from a city standpoint. But I will uh, reiterate, uh, this is, and and I I am feeling right now the emotions uh, of <clears throat> of um, you know the Kings and everything we went through, and I can only imagine uh, what A's fans, both Bay Area and even local, are are feeling right now. Whether it's conflicted or just absolutely depressed, and let's be honest, Jason, a lot of people excited. Uh, so I'm, I'm not putting on my party hat. I understand it's a good thing for Sacramento, uh, in the interim, but I, I just, I want to, I want to, I want to acknowledge A's fans and I want to acknowledge the city of Oakland that has been through so much in losing all their teams. And just, just to say you, you got absolutely hosed. You, you got absolutely screwed on this and I'm sorry. And I'm sure we'll be seeing quite a few of you. Uh, up here uh in the coming years yeah i mean that's again there's there's with shirts on um i feel for them for sure mm -hmm. i all along i just wondered even like when the other day i think it was two days ago where allegedly oakland countered with their proposal yeah i mean if the a's weren't even negotiating and i say a's john fisher and his group weren't even negotiating in good faith then i mean were they even listening were they even attempting right did they even try i think they've been out they've been they and uh, look there's also a reason that the Warriors went to San Francisco. There is a reason that the a, the Raiders left. I, I mean, it, it stinks on many yeah. different levels, and now they went from three professional teams to zero Yeah. if this all goes through. yeah. And then there's still questions about what is the NBC Sports? How did this work out? What will they change their parameters on the deal? Can Vegas happen? Will this all still go through? Everything is pointing towards it happening, but like you said before, until shovels or deals are 100% finalized, um, you just never know. One thing I hate about the narrative about Oakland trying to keep the A's are people, oh, the team has tried for decades to try and get a new stadium in Oakland. They've tried for decades. No, they haven't. They've been trying to get out of Oakland from the beginning. You didn't hear about Oakland stadiums until 2016 when the Raiders left. And now they're they're pushing this narrative of like, we've done our best for decades to try and get this team to stay in Oakland when that's not the case at all. We have this is major breaking news, and this is a, a huge day, whether you uh, like it or not, for the city of Sacramento and the world of sports. Sacktown Sports will have comprehensive coverage of this wall to wall throughout today. Obviously, we'll still talk Kings and everything else. As a matter of fact, Sam's going to join us in the next segment. We'll do our regular thing with him. Uh, but we will continue to follow this. Styles and Watkins will be on the air during the press conference. They will have those details as well. And uh, we will continue to cover this as the news has broken. It is official. The Oakland Athletics are temporarily relocating to Sacramento for a minimum of three, if not four years with an option there uh, starting next season. We'll take a break. We're back with Sam next. On the move? Got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sacktown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. Every day when we're on the road, people around us endanger themselves and others by looking at their phones while driving. There's the sneak -a peeker who darts their eyes between the road and their texts, or the nightlighter who illuminates their car after dark. 
If that's you, reconsider before you find yourself becoming the fender benderer, the got a ticket er, or worst of all, the driver who killed someone. Put the phone away or pay. Paid for by NHTSA. Mind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford. In the Folsom Auto Mall, you can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit. Credit, save big with low interest finance rates and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? You were a bit surprised at how much it cost, or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area A plus with the better business bureau that's why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more you can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990 that's 916-520-9990 or americanenergyair.com I love this time of year when the azaleas begin to bloom and the singing birds' sweet dawn chorus remind us that blue skies and sunshine are at hand. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. In sports, the definition for the word master is one who's achieved a high degree of skill, and that will be on display in the highly anticipated golf tournament. In the furniture business, a master is a highly skilled craftsman, an artist even, whose work is coveted by those who appreciate design, quality and durability. John Keyes was the mastermind of Naturewood Home Furnishings. He knew that you wanted your home to reflect your personal style, whether that was a plain coffee table or a masterpiece for you to enjoy forever. That's why when you walk into Naturewood Home Furnishings, you'll find the largest and best selection of the highest quality home furnishings in Northern California. Masterful. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Your home for Kings basketball for over 25 seasons. No look, Bibby to Weber, down the lane, flying jam. There's your play of the night right there. It's inside is Sabonis, a two-hand rip, a brilliant pass from De'Aaron Fox. KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. All right, welcome back. Uh, th- things are uh, buzzing. And as uh, Sam joins us, he needs a minute. That's fine. That gives us a chance to reset. Yeah. Uh, the A's to Sacramento is official. Temporarily. Got to keep throwing that in there. Three years with an option for a fourth. Yeah. Uh, if you noticed in that press release, every statement had Las Vegas in it. Yes. Very crafted. Very. Yeah. There's reasons for all of that. And we're going to take time to soak this in to respect the A's fans whose hearts are breaking today, much like Kings fans hearts would have broken uh, 10, 12 years ago. And, um, you know, but there's more to this now Now, now that they're officially coming, things are going to, at least for me, shift a little bit. 
but we can wait on that. Now that's talking about, well, since they're here, okay, well now they can't go to Vegas. Like, sorry. It's like, uh, what, what's uh, the Bronx tale? Now you can't leave. Mm. Uh, also, uh, throw out the schedule for today. Sam's going to join us now. Uh, we are efforting. Uh, we're going to do a simulcast, I think, at 9 uh, with our content partner, KCRA. Okay. Uh, do a little TV radio there since uh, the, the news is breaking. The mayor of Sacramento will join us at 9.13, Daryl Steinberg. And we are efforting, although I I don't think anyone's going to be available prior to the 10 a.m. press conference, but we we have reached out to Vivek and 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 principals to uh, see if we can't get somebody from there. Uh, and as I said, Styles and Watkins will uh, continue that coverage, as uh, will, I'm sure, the Drive guys, uh, Whitey and Kyle, uh, later this afternoon, of course, ahead of the Kings and Knicks uh, at 4.30 exclusively, audio-wise on Sartown Sports. Joining us right now, yeah, uh, the one, the only, and we're going to go back and forth here. Basketball, obviously, is what we're going to talk about with uh, Samuel Amick. But at the same time, I think it's appropriate because Sam, in addition to being uh, on the Mount Rushmore of plugged-in national NBA writers that we are uh, so so lucky to have each and every week, uh, in addition to being a senior writer with uh, The Athletic on a national level, uh, Sam lives in Elk Grove. Sorry, Sam. Sam uh, originally is from Pleasanton. Sam is a lifelong Giants fan, uh, but Sam also, uh, before he became superstar Sam, uh, was the beat writer, I believe, taking over for the late, great Marty McNeil at the Sacramento Bee uh, and and knows this community, knows the relocation saga incredibly well. Sam, also me, a lifelong Giants fan. Uh, I'm just honestly curious with this A's news now official what what are your thoughts on it as a baseball fan and as a Sacramento and as a former Bay Area guy? First of all, good morning, guys. Um, Sorry, good morning, Sam. No, I just give me the meat and potatoes because it's been a hell of a morning. You can tell by my bedhead uh, on the YouTube here. Um, <laughs> What is, uh, what's the, so it's done this morning? Yeah, sorry. So, so yeah. the, the, uh, oh wait, I gotta be a capital J journalist like Sam as first reported by Sackdown Sports yesterday. The A's. Yeah, I heard Sacramento. you had some tweets out there. Yeah, I, yeah, I actually yeah, I I got that part. Good job, buddy. Uh, thank you. Uh, the A's to Sacramento is official. Uh, the Kings slash baseball slash A's themselves sent out a statement, uh, about 10 minutes ago. Uh, they, the, they will be here for at least three years starting next season with an option for a fourth. And they made it very clear as we were just talking about multiple times in the statement and route to their permanent home in Las Vegas. But for at least the next three years, Sacramento will be a home to what some may say is major league baseball. Yeah. I mean, mixed, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, mixed reaction. I think like a lot of people, uh, like you said, I've got this personal profile of Bay Area and Sacramento being the two communities that I've been, you know, raised in, so to speak. Um, and, and also a guy that when I was a kid, baseball was my sport. Like you said, the Giants, I, I covered baseball for years. I covered the Moneyball A's a bit and the Giants. And so, I mean, I'm happy for Sacramento from the standpoint of, um, listen, taking advantage of a, a business situation that ultimately it sounds like it's going to go to Vegas anyway. Um, it's, it's an addition to the community. It's a strong baseball area, as you guys know, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you know, they've talked about trying to get a national team for a very long time. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I feel for the Oakland fans and, and have for years, um, including our buddy, you know, neighbor John, who yeah. is a, as big an ace fan as, uh, as anybody. Um, so I'm I wonder actually, how he's going to feel honestly. I wonder how he, that's the have, guy I'm curious about. We had talked about it, and yeah. unless his stance has changed, I don't uh, – and who knows, it could have. I, I don't think he was rushing off to get season tickets. Sure. Um, I, I don't know if he has it in him to <clears throat> to stay away for three years. Um, yeah, the irony is, as the guy and myself who grew up a Giants fan, I'm sure as hell going to go out there and, and watch the A's. Um, so, you know, it's, it's another – I guess broadly speaking, it's another – uh, kind of feather in the cap for the city of Sacramento in terms of growth, in terms of kind of getting its big boy pants on even more. You know, you save the Kings, you 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 provide a home for a, a team like the A's that is looking for a solution. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I see it. But uh, but you know, that's all I got, buddy. 
I was going to say, I know we'll get into the NBA, Sam, but just, I, but all of us all connected to this community in one way or another, I think all have people that are A's fans. You kind of referenced that as well. I just wonder what your read is. Cause I, on, on the connections that I have, I've literally heard split. So I'm like, no, I'm absolutely done with this team. I don't want to support Fisher. I would not support him going to Sacramento to others. Like, yeah, at least I could see my team here. I'd like to see him in Sacramento. And it's really weird. I think the mixed emotions, the way you started it is perfect. I think that's kind of the way it may go with the fan base. Yeah, for sure. I mean, first of all, let's not gloss over the actual product itself. So are they going to win any games? Are they going to be the bad news bears like they've been the last couple of years? Um, Now, at minimum for people, if you are a neutral party in Sacramento, it's obviously it opens up this exciting door to go see the rest of Major League Baseball. Um, really it's sadly the way the Kings had been for a lot of the past 15 years before last year, where even if you were out on the local team, you could go see, you know, your favorite NBA players. So that component, uh, is, is new and and exciting for the city. Um, and and then, yeah, I think the mixed emotion stuff, Jay makes sense, partly just personality based, partly, um, kind of just how you roll uh, in terms of the way you live your life. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I mean, attendance will be really interesting um you know and, and i'm looking forward to seeing it talk to me uh a bit you know when we, when we talk about uh the nba goings on as we will uh switch over there uh julius randall season ending surgery uh, i'm gonna ask you one of those philosophical not you know reporter questions as i love to do but you know the knicks really seem to have turned a corner and it happens to have happened without Julius Randle. Now, uh, there's that old uh, post hoc ergo propter hoc thing where it's after it, therefore because of it, doesn't necessarily mean what? Coincidence or a uh, correlation isn't whatever. Now I'm getting over my skis. Um, uh, <laughs> I feel like the, back in school, brother. <laughs> right, I know. I, I thought I was smart. So the it, in your mind, it, it, the easy road to go here would be, well, Julius Randle might be available in the summer because they were actually better record-wise without him or – or do you think that's a bit of a mirage when it comes to the pieces of the Knicks? Who the Kings play tonight? Um, I think it's a to-be-determined situation based on the rest of the market, meaning uh, they have been tied to Carl Anthony Towns in the past. Mm-hmm. One of their front office executives is Gerson Rosas, who uh, you know came up with Carl and the Timberwolves, known to be an advocate of that idea. So the point being, you're not just, they're not just getting off of Julius Randle. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. They won some games. They've just lost three in a row, by the way. Um, they also didn't have OG Ananobi and haven't for quite some time. Did I hear right? He's, he might be out for the year. I, I thought I heard that yesterday that they don't expect him back. OG. Yeah. Have you heard anything about that? I haven't. I mean, okay. to this point he had been expected to return. Okay. Okay. Um, might heard wrong. so was Julius Randle. So, yeah, yeah. right. Right. Um, you know, I'm disappointed just because I enjoy their team and at full strength, they were literally like a top three team in the NBA for for about three weeks. And I was really curious to see what they could do. This takes a lot of wind out of their sails. But this summer, a little bit like you hear chatter about the Lakers and how they're going to go star hunting again mm-hmm. this summer that the Knicks, you know, have their own version of that. So to me, Julius is heading you know, out only if somebody of significance is coming in. Sam, a week ago, we talked to you as we do every Thursday at eight and the Kings had lost the first of two to Dallas really got crushed in that game. The second one, much better game opportunity to win Kings lose. So damaging loss there. They also lose Malik Monk in the game for at basically the rest of the year, we believe four to six weeks here. Um, but since then, you know, a couple of wins here, maybe restoring some belief here. Here we are the up and down Kings again, but just your perspective on seeing them uh, now life without Kevin Herter and, and Malik Monk. Yeah. Up and down, like you said, and, and guys not to take over the host duties real quick, but as you manage our visit here, um, can we make sure we keep a couple minutes for a, a, a brief Clippers segment? Cause I know how much Dave loves talking about the Clippers. Yes. Yeah. Add it, baby. Let's go. Um, all right. So I'm ready for you on that end. Okay. The, they obviously just got waxed by the, the Kings the other night. So Kings up and down, right? When you think they blew it with the two losses to Dallas, you know, they they kind of get you thinking again as they head into this East Coast trip. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Like, listen, everybody at the arena the other night looked at the Boston, New York back-to-back. It is a back-to-back, right? Yes. 
Yeah. You know, and said, all right, well, those are either two L's or a one and one split. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Celtics just lost twice to the Hawks. I know they're dominant. Um, they also just secured the number one seed league wide. Yep. Uh, and so that could shift rotations. And does Joe Missoula down throttle a bit? Does that help the Kings? Point being, you know, it's not outside the realm of possibility. Uh, and I'm being, I'm having recency bias because they looked really good against the Clippers the other night that they go um, kick some butt on this trip and, and, you know, get into that sixth spot somehow. Now they don't have the tiebreaker against new Orleans. Obviously it's undetermined against Phoenix, I believe. Um, and so it's just absolutely nip and tuck between those three and, you know, we'll see what they can do, but they're, they're still in it. And, you know, obviously trying to avoid that plan territory. Sam Amick joining us from the athletic. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me, let me put on my outfit here. If we're going to do this <laughs> real quick. We're gonna have I me. mean, he's teasing us. So we got to get there. Yeah, we got to get there. Okay. So let me put on my clown wig here. And Hey, Sam, what's going on with the uh, Clippers, buddy? Well, the, you know, the, Radio listeners are going to wish they were on YouTube today because they get Great to see point. you with the clown hat. And I actually also came prepared with props. You ready for oh, this? Yes. Oh. We, we somehow we, we sometimes get free stuff sent to us by teams, you know, and it's I don't typically like taking free stuff. But mm -hmm. uh, if you get my address and you send stuff that I will never wear yeah. other than on this radio show. So I got I got my Clippers hat here. You know, oh, please, baby. Look Clippers at that. Sam. Okay, let's see. We're we're on what about a five second delay? Oh, there! Oh, oh, look at that! Clips. Oh, that's the new looking hat, the clips. It's actually smooth. I, if I could only find a Clippers fan, I would give it to him. Um, <laughs> so, I wrote about it today. I just think, um, you know, and listen, it's fine if the column that I wrote today blows up on my face. That happens sometimes. I looked at their last two months, and and your favorite player, James Harden, in particular, Dave. Yeah. And it's like, man, I, you know, first line of the story, I just said, you know, are the Clippers already unofficially out as title contenders? Um, since February 7th, they have the 28th best, in air quotes, defensive rating in the NBA. Woof. Um, that's definitely a woof. The James Harden stuff, though, is, is wild. Um, he just had back-to-back -back single digit scoring games. Yeah. And just for context, I, I went down a rabbit hole looking at that particular stat and reality. Um, this is a guy who, love him or hate him, is an all-time great scorer. He went from 2015 to 2020 without ever having a single-digit scoring game. Wow. Um, in the last three seasons. So I understand things have changed in terms of his you know, profile, and he's been more of a playmaker. But even with the last three years in Brooklyn and Philly, he had – four combined single digit scoring games. He has 10 this year for mm. the Clippers. And the other night when they're playing the Kings, you're just looking at it going, okay, I understand that the responsibilities are different within the context of this Clippers team, but they had no Kawhi Leonard. Like it was absolutely the kind of night where James being James, like the old days would have been massive for them. The part that I, I knew Dave would love to hear is that if you talk about the officiating shift midway through this season and the, and the, what has happened to the whistle and they yeah. are just simply not uh, they're basically legislating out a lot of the foul hunting um, James not shockingly has been pretty significantly impacted by that uh, this is a guy that has averaged around 8.3 free throw attempts per game for his entire career and I think the span was about it's going back to the all-star break he's averaging about 2.7 I've got wow. it right in front of me, 3.7 yeah. 3. just this last month alone and then lower the month before. And my favorite stat to pull out these days is James Harden has more free throws made than field goals made in his career, which is astounding. Anyone called a free throw merchant now or throughout history? I went and looked. None of them, none of them do that. And James Harden, Sam, to just underscore your point against the Kings, four attempts. The Hornets, four attempts. Philly, two attempts. Uh, Philly, again, two attempts from the line. He had one against Atlanta in 36 minutes. That That is, you, if you didn't know any better, you'd say James Harden is mentally checked out. Yeah, it's not a good look. I mean, I'm always a little reticent to come away. You know, I, I see a team for a day or two sometimes, and I don't want to have big picture takeaways as if I'm there every single day. 
but you hear stuff. Um, and, and the other night, man, it was the vibes were a little strange. You know, uh, Paul George was asked about what, you know, the Clippers could do to get James going again on the scoring side. And he wasn't like irritated. I don't want to misconvey, uh, you know, the way Paul was, but his answer was literally, I'm not a coach. Mm. I'm not the coach. Yeah. Next question. Uh-huh. You know? um, and then even Ty Lue had a passing comment about, uh, you know, I suppose I could have run more ISO for him. And it's a little bit like, yeah, you think like if you met James Harden. <laughs> right. You know? um, so, yeah. And they just they're 13 and 13 in that two month stretch. Um, it, and it was also weird. You talk about how low their bar is right now. Um they they can't they, they acted like they played well against the Kings, you know, um, which I thought was a little odd. It was it was like feelings I think have been hurt a little bit. This is my own two cents or analysis, but like Ty Lue called him soft about a week ago. You know, you yeah. had kind of back and forth questions, yeah. of, you know, because James Harden talked about identity. Ty Lue says our our identity is we're soft. So um, yeah, they're not in a good place and. And that, you know they had that stretch a couple months back where they were one of the best teams in the league. So it's it's pretty wild how it's gone off the track so quick. Yeah, I like how you said that, Sam. And where you can't like make full season judgment when you know seeing a team you know once or twice or you're kind of popping in during the season. But that pop in I thought was revealing the other day. I I, I don't know. I just had no other way to put it. But it looked like the Kings took their spirit. The play I recited was look they, the Kings were were kind of crushing them. It's end of the third. Kings got a great basket. I think there was about 2.4 to go inbound to Paul George and no attempt. I mean, again, likelihood of him making a half court shot or advancing it to someone makes a three to beat the buzzer small, but it was like, yeah, I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to hold the ball and end the quarter. And it just, it just looked like there was zero fight. All their more of their shots were taken by Zubots on a team that has Harden and Westbrook and Paul George. It, it just, everything seemed out of whack, at least on the one night to see them here. Well, and, and quick backdrop, not to make, you know, hijack your show with Clippers talk, but like the backdrop it absolutely fascinates me. I mean, Steve Ballmer, as you guys know, has more money than God, uh-huh. uh, far That's more true. money than, than anybody in the league. And and so he has fought so hard to separate his team's identity and his organization from the Lakers. And here they are on the doorstep of getting their own new arena this summer in Inglewood. It's a very exciting time. But if this team is terrible, it's going to make his offseason really, really hard because he already locked up Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and that extension situation gets more interesting by the week and the month because we thought that would get done and it hasn't. And now you look out there and, you know, does he have interest in going to a place like Philly? Who knows? Um, and then the Harden thing, you know, what do you do with James Harden? He, he plans on being with the Clippers for a long time and he wanted, he thought he deserved a max deal in Philly. And, you know, with this kind of performance, you know, how do those conversations go if if they don't get anywhere in the playoffs? Real quick, want to ask you uh, about what's going on in Charlotte. Steve Clifford announcing he'll step down at the end of the year uh, and and find a front office role. And and I, I, I refer to it yesterday as the Alvin Gentry, which happened in, in Sacramento, still time on the contract. And Alvin is still part and a valued part uh, of the organization. Sounds like Steve's doing the same thing. Clifford was one of the finalists uh, for the King's job uh, just a couple years ago. So uh, any intel on what's what's going on there, especially considering between the Miles Bridges off-court thing and 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 Lonzo uh, or uh, Lamella Ball's injuries, uh, I don't know how much I can pin on Clifford. No, I think it's more a, a case of um, of a guy shifting, and I just looked it up here. You, know, you he's, type very heavily. Yeah, dude. you do. Wow. Heavy typer. That is a heavy type. Uh, funny, funny side story. I got caught one time. I didn't really get caught. It wasn't true, but I was doing a trivia thing online and, uh, and, oh, and cheating, <laughs> cheating Sam Amick. I wasn't actually cheating, but that was the accusation. Right. Yes. Um, I'm not online. Yeah. yeah, I get you. Right. yeah. So he, what I was looking up is that Steve, you know, Cliff is 62 years old. It, I think it's just a matter of like, just, you know, they're, they're going to try to reinvigorate it with some new, younger energy. Um, and by the way, Jordy Fernandez, King's assistant, has been tied to that 
Dave, are you talking to me? Because you're. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I just realized I was trying Dave to. Dave was cheating. I was, yeah, I was. I was trying to tell Chris a note for a segment here uh, in what we call our IFB. I didn't realize you got that feed. So my apologies. No, you no I didn't get the feed. I just saw you. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah, I was. I was talking to Chris quietly. Go, please continue. I'm new to this. You know. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, all good. I, I don't think there's any controversy there, other than you know they just made a change in the front office. I mean, Mitch Kupchak stepping aside, Jeff Peterson taking over, um, you know, it's just a time of change in Charlotte. And like I was mentioning, Jordy uh, Fernandez from the Kings, uh, they're one of their lead assistant coaches and a guy who's been a candidate already in multiple places for head coaching jobs, you know, and, and runs the Canadian team, very good reputation. Uh, you know, it sounds like he's going to get a crack at it there if he has interest. So, you know, we'll see what they, uh, what they do, but I don't think it's a, a huge uh, story. We're we're just we're running all the hits today, man. Clippers, Charlotte. Like you want to talk about a, you know, a triple A squad, the G League. We already did a triple A squad. We did the A's. Hey. hey, you know what? That's a great way to to land the plane here, Sam. I, again, I don't. I'm not asking you for uh, inside info. It's already out. But just just want to acknowledge. How about Lindsay? Uh, how about Lindsay Harding, the, uh, the G League Sac- uh, Stockton Kings? Coach of the year. It's it's. I've been saying tongue in cheek every time we talk about it, you know. And I know you'll get this too. Uh, we've all been told that that women can't coach guys, and that that will never work, and it's never going to happen. So you now have the G League Coach of the Year. She is beloved by everybody who's around her. And again, I know you don't have a solid answer, but gosh, Sam, aren't we just? Isn't it just imminent at this point? Almost bordering on way. Well, it is way overdue. Uh, that we are going to get our first NBA female coach. Head coach. Uh, yes. I mean, first of all, congrats to Lindsay. Uh, I don't, I mean, I've met her, you know, several times. I don't know her very well personally, but I mean, it's one of those people you just don't hear anything bad about. Yep. Um, you know, and, and it was kind of fun the other night to see her get her flowers at the game when they, uh, they put the camera on her and, and acknowledged it on the Jumbotron. It is, uh, it's a big deal. Um, that program seems to be going pretty well. And, and listen, not to go down the dark path, but they obviously had just an incredible yeah. situation mid-season. I didn't even think about yeah. that, Sam. That's the first – you know what? No, you're you're referring to the horrible story yes. about the ex-Stockton King. I mean, we're talking about a murder charge, uh, all the press that came with that. Sam, I, I'm so glad you brought that up. I, that's the I mean, it's first. not a charge. It's, it's a murder, you know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, excuse me. You're, you're, yes, correct. And, and honestly – just I'm, I'm building on your point. I'll give you back the mic here, but you're so right that you talk about all the normal challenges and then having to guide your team to success when one of your players literally killed somebody. And I'm, I'm being dead serious with what I'm saying here that that is, uh, that is a phenomenal point you're making and something I had not even thought of yet. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, to your original point, yeah. I don't know, where we are when it comes to a woman being a head coach in the NBA, just because, you know, we thought Becky Hammond was going to be that person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She obviously crushed it uh, in Vegas ever since leaving the Spurs. Um, you know, Lindsay, you know, absolutely should be in these conversations to, to get NBA jobs. I don't know what her path looks like. Um, I would actually love and shoot. Now you got me, you know, sparking story ideas. I would enjoy talking to her about, just what have you learned about that simple act of coaching men? And have you run into those tough moments where, um, you know, you, you've got to find a way to, to be the leader and, and get past this energy that, uh, that, that, you know, pro male athletes tend to bring on a daily basis. So, um, you know, great for her, good program and, uh, and good stuff for sure. That's Sam Amick, the voice of the athletic, as I like to call him. Yes. By the way, I'm going to see one of your colleagues next weekend at a wedding. Who's that? Uh, Shams. Uh, who's wedding? Uh, <laughs> You're not going to share that, are you? Uh, <laughs> well, it's a friend of ours. Would it be weird if it was Shams and you weren't invited? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'd mind, but just in case, I want to respect him. You, you and I both know him. He is a uh, – let's. Uh, how would I say this? He is uh, He is the manager of a former uh, Sacramento Kings star here in town. Okay. You, can you know what I'm talking about? about? You know. uh, no, it's early in the call. I'll, te- I'll text <laughs> you. Yeah, you got bad head. Uh, no, Sam Amick from The Athletic. Sucks, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I have Shams' number. You want me to call him for you and say hi? 
I want you to. I want you to come over. Dave's and, gonna be at his table. Yeah, well, I, I believe we are gonna be at the same table. So I'm gonna the whole time. I'm gonna be like, do we have Sam on every week? But I think you're better. <laughs> <I'm just> gonna, <laughs> oh no, 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 no. That idea. No, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, hey man, yeah, I go way back with Sam. How long have you guys had beef? He is always talking is garbage. Really bad about you. Just always yeah. r- r- running you down, dude. I think you're good. I don't think you're a suck up to agents. What? Is, what is he talking? Okay, wow. so yeah, I, I may see, or may not do that. See how you roll. <laughs> good stuff sam as always thanks brother say hi to the fam we'll talk to you soon likewise thanks guys All right, that's sam amy we'll take a break uh when we come back the latest on this uh well breaking story now the a's to sacramento uh we'll get to who's hot who's not and uh we'll go streaking we'll do our three in the key of course uh but we will also uh, we'll be attempting i still don't know it's going to work yet uh a simulcast uh with uh kcra coming up at 9 a.m do a little tv there and then uh, the mayor daryl steinberg uh, will join us at 9 13 and we've reached out to the mayor of west sacramento too by the way for those who are like it's in west sacramento we're trying that too so just relax we'll bring you all the comprehensive coverage of major league baseball at least temporarily coming to sacramento right here on your home of the kings and a's and niners sacktown sports subscribe to sacktown sports on youtube and watch the carmichael dave show with jason ross styles and watkins and the drive guys live monday through friday from six to six plus view archive shows and exclusive content subscribe at youtube.com slash sacktown sports Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Oil Change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons months today plays here stolen by fox breakaway coming up for De'Aaron, and a simple casual spike to the left hand the kings lead by three sacktown sports is your crowd home of the sacramento kings progressive presents precious moments nothing beats driving cross country in our rv this is so much fun dad i don't even need to look at my phone it's not the destination it's, it's the, the journey, journey. jinx <laughs> The exchange you just heard didn't actually happen, but it could. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive and you could use the savings to make sure that RV is always ready to hit the road. Who knows, your teenager might actually put down her phone for five minutes. It could happen. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early. So everyone can go home on time. There's Granger. Offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how an injury can turn anyone's life upside down. Whether it's a slip and fall, a car accident, or any other kind of injury, for almost 50 years, the Arnold Law Firm has been here to help you through the entire process to protect you and your family. If you are ever injured or in an accident, call the Arnold Law Firm. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. That's 916-777-7777. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. 
How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba ProMasters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729. Or visit us at Power Copy this segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at your power savings. in Sacramento is changing. Yes. Sports landscape. We'll just say we, we that was just predicting this news. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, yeah. Way ahead of time. Uh, the Oakland A's will be playing in Sacramento next year, uh, the year after, and the year after that with an option for a fourth that was announced officially. Uh, Maybe. In a joint statement uh, by the Sacramento Kings, who own the River Cats and have, have helped facilitate uh, this move. Uh, Major League Baseball and A's ownership uh, that will start next year. Uh, they will share the park with the River Cats. There is a press conference today at Center Field at 10 a.m. That's fast. That's really fast. I think I just want to get out and get ahead of this. I guess. How do the Giants feel about this? Why are they allowing it, especially when their AAA team is involved? And this keeps the A's here for you know another three years, but maybe a little bit further away than Oakland, but not as far away as Salt Lake. Um, could they make them as an entity, make it not happen? I was just on the phone with somebody during the break who asked that same exact, he asked two questions that are excellent questions. This is somebody in, in ownership said, I don't understand same, the same person says, I don't understand how the giants are okay with this. If I was them, I'd probably take this thing to litigation. And also how in the hell are you going to get his, you know what? The A's were in the statement. The Kings were in the statement. Major League Baseball was in the statement. Players Association and Tony Clark were not in the statement. Now, that's that's fine, and, and it's not necessary for that to happen. But the other good question that a lot of people have is, well, how, it, well hold on. Players Association going to be okay with not only a major league team, air quotes, playing in a AAA stadium mm -hmm. with AAA facilities, but also sharing a major league state or a AAA stadium with AAA facilities. Remember, like the clubhouse, they got to walk down the field to get to the clubhouse yeah. out there there's it's it's different um and not not trying to joke is it better than oakland though uh I, yeah i mean i'm not trying to be i the beholder I, no i totally understand uh my answer to him was the same answer i'll, I'll give you guys now look rob manfred is a toolbox and john fisher's the tools that go in that toolbox all right you're talking about a couple of jackalopes but I find it just impossible, almost impossible, I guess, to believe that Major League Baseball would put its stamp on this and the commissioner would put a quote out on this and support it had they not already talked to the Giants, who, by the way, he works for, right. 
and the Players Association. That would just be yet another black eye, mishap, you don't know what the hell you're doing type of thing. I find it very unlikely that this this road hasn't already been cleared with, with all sides. But it's also Rob Manfred and John Fisher. Yeah. Uh, they Which could, is why everything right. feels like it needs an asterisk. It's a hundred. It couldn't make a deal on a game show. That's that's the problem. So, um, we'll have the mayor on uh, the mayor of Sacramento. To be clear, this is West Sacramento too, but the whole region's involved. So yeah. we'll have Daryl Steinberg, who the outgoing mayor. Uh, so this is really you know, and he is at heart. I mean, he's a diehard Kings fan, but he is a baseball junkie. Uh, so I know he's gonna he's gonna be very positive about this we've talked he has been very positive about this all along and i'm going to ask him you know because look daryl was one of the key players behind the scenes and in the front of the king's state we talk about kj and david stern people forget daryl steinberg was the president of the senate in california and helped pass a bill that was vital in getting it really top three most important thing to happen was him passing that bill so he was there for us during the fight for the Kings. And I'm going to ask him on the air and he'll, he'll, he'll answer it. How in the hell do you, do you, do you, do you I don't know about justify, but how do you, how do you circle the wagons on this one? And uh, be curious to hear his thoughts, Jason, but bottom line is baseball will be here for a minimum of three years, major league baseball. There's a lot of questions, press conference again at 10 AM. And of course we will have all your coverage uh, throughout the day, including Styles and Watkins, who I'm sure will. There's a way to carry the audio. I imagine they will uh, make that attempt, but either way, uh, they'll be on it. And I imagine we'll have at least somebody out there. Yeah, with that option of a fourth year, I mean, based on today, yeah. with not a lot of movement at the moment in Vegas, yeah. four seems like even a pretty decent possibility. I would actually bet on four. Yeah. And to be honest, we, and, and look. And that can change. I've said this this is down the road because I think right now today is for A's fans, uh, Oakland fans. Uh, I, I don't want to dance on anyone's graves. I'm not going to dance at all, to be honest. But um, once the once the dust settles, I I know me as a as an activist, if you will. My my now it's like okay, I didn't I didn't want this. I don't want it. I'm not a fan of this. It doesn't feel right. But they're here. I can't change that. I don't want to go anywhere now. So now it's all about, you know, we've kind of made friends with the Oakland folks and trying to keep them in Oakland. So whether they were to stay in Sacramento or got, you know, who knows, go back to Oakland somehow with new ownership. I don't know. But now the focus, I think at some point goes to uh, how can we, um, how do you stop that Vegas move? which is what they want. But I, I, I think there's some openings there. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, who's hot, who's not, we'll go streaking, three in the key, and so much more right here on your home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. The NFL's leading rusher plays here. And a handoff to McCaffrey, walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey, takes it right down to the goal line. He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10, 5, touchdown! C! You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns on your home for 49ers football. Sacktown Sports. I'm Ken Korak with our first Green and Gold Report for 2024. Brought to you by... Xfinity 10G, the network made for streaming. Well, for the A's to turn around their fortunes this year, they'll have to play better defense than they've shown early in the season. Now, bright spots on the mound. Paul Blackburn went seven in the last game of the Cleveland series, three hits and no runs. And then Kyle Muller in the first game against the Red Sox comes out of the bullpen, five and a third, one hit, and six strikeouts. Want more speed? Well, Xfinity just increased their internet speeds, and they're faster than ever. It's time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from Xfinity. Now through June 21st, get 150 megabit Xfinity internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. That's double the speed for the same great price. Click, call, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with store bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment, taxes, and other charges extra. No one's After promo, regular sorry, rates apply. What are we doing? Actual speeds vary. Dirty heads. Hey, good morning. How are you, Jason? And I don't know if Dave can hear me. April 12th, 7.30 p.m., the venue at Thunder Valley. Say I'm crazy, but I have a dream. 
the special guest, Life The Elevators. So On sale at ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Dirty Heads Live. Rescue me. Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilate, host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Would you like a chance to meet Ricky Henderson, Dennis Rodman, Johnny Manziel, Randy Johnson, Frank Thomas, Vlad Guerrero Sr., Dave Stewart, and our favorite Malik Monk and meet over 90 sports card dealers all in one weekend? This is your chance to do it on May 17th through the 19th at the Roseville Fairgrounds at the Sacramento Autograph Expo. You can get all the information about the show on our website at sacautographexpo.com. That's sac autographexpo.com. Welcome to the April Adventure Sales Event at Kia Vacaville, where they're ushering a new season with unbeautiful lease options for their 2024 lineup. As April blooms with possibilities, it's the perfect time to discover the thrill of driving a Kia, featuring the luxurious and versatile Kia Telluride. During April Adventures, Kia Vacaville is excited to unveil their top models with irresistible lease offers. Feel the exhilaration of the all-new Kia Sportage, blending captivating design with dynamic performance. Experience the impressive fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero a hybrid wonder that stretches your adventures further. And don't miss out on the chance to boost your journeys with the luxurious comfort and practicality of the Kia Telluride. Available now at Kia Vacaville. Embrace the look of spring with their eco-friendly Kia hybrid options. Tailored for those who seek efficiency without sacrificing style with the EV9 in stock. Kia Vacaville is your premier destination for electric excitement. Model availability, lease options, and features may vary. For more details, visit Kia Vacaville and embark on your April adventure today. Cashback is not available on gas in New Jersey and Wisconsin. Billy, your gas light's on. We need to stop and fill up. No way, Jen. Gas around here is too expensive. We can make it a little further. Billy, listen to your big sister. You don't need to drive all over searching for the lowest gas prices. Do what I do and use Upside. Upside? Do you live under a rock, Billy? Upside is the hottest cashback app out there. It's free to download and you get real cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I use it all the time and I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying the gas you have to buy anyway. Yes, I'm looking at the Upside app now. Now, and there's a gas station at the next exit offering 25 cents per gallon cash back. Okay, I'm stopping to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COIN25 to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, to PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COIN25 for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COIN25 for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air, making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. What's hot? Yeah, hot. Real hot. And what's not? It's not good. Brought to you by American Energy Heating and Air. Sacramento's complete heating and cooling company and second opinion partner. All right. Uh, we're going to do a crosstalk simulcast with Channel 3 at the top of the hour. So uh, bear with us for that. Uh, also, uh, the mayor of Sacramento, Daryl Steinberg, will join us at 913. We are efforting Martha Guerrero, the mayor of West Sacramento, uh, as well, to hopefully perhaps join us in this segment. We'll see. I'm sure she's very busy right now. Uh, in the meantime, though, Chris Verlade, who is hot? Heston Kerstad. Who? Who? Of the Norfolk Tides. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. He I went know. five of seven with two doubles, two home runs, and 10 RBI in the Norfolk Tides 26 to ah, 11 win yes. tied. over the Charlotte Knights. Uh, I, I, you know what? Honestly, that's a great one. I, I was, I'm sure we, we should mention this. Um, I had him in streaking. You, you know, the, the honorable mention, I guess we can say is uh, what the hell did Malachi Flynn do last night? That is the most random 50-point game in the history of the NBA. Is that more random than, like, because you know what I thought of? Tony I thought, Delk. yeah, top, thought of Tony Dell. His career average but was, like, four. I, I, I agree with you because I, I did the same thing. Yeah. I went and looked at their averages. Yeah. And I was like, this is more random. Yeah. 50 points off the bench. You're a career four-point-a-game scorer. Random. What a great night for him. I hope he saved the jersey, the shoes, the ball. Everything involved, the box score. And you imagine and, if we were doing uh, three in the key and we're like, oh, random. Uh, Malachi's going to score 50 tonight. Like, okay, do something that can happen. Again, it would be like Keegan Murray's going to get in a fist fight with Scott Moak, would yeah. be more likely than, than that. So, yeah. anyways, who's not? 
Doc Rivers. Oh, jeez, yeah. The Milwaukee Bucks were 30 and 13 when they fired Adrian Griffin and hired Doc Rivers as their new head coach. Rivers' record with the Bucks is 15 and 15. They are 5 of 5 of their last 10. They trail the number one seed Celtics by 13 games. Yeah, that's uh, Doc Rivers' great move. Adrian Griffin, best record in the East. They fire him for uh, Dr. Rivers. All right, let's uh, let's move along here. Good times in Milwaukee. Uh, let's uh, let's go streaking here. It's time to go streaking. We're going streaking. Yeah. Who is the Nostradamus of MLB? Who can keep the streak going? It's time to go streaking. What the hell are you doing? We're streaking. All right. right. Yeah, go ahead. Here we go, Dave. Yesterday you were on a, uh, what, two-game hitting streak? Yeah, I was. And you went with Spencer Steer. Because he's going to steer me in the right direction. Of the Cincinnati Reds. Come on, Steer. Four plate appearances. One hit. Yes. Dave's on a three-game hitting Let's streak. Let's go. What, his way what's the season one. high? You with three? Three. Three. Here we go. We're uh, tied. I was at zero, and I went with a guy you thought I made up, Jake Cronenworth. I wish I had made him up. He's over four. Oh, I'm still a- more like Jake Schmone and worth nothing. Yes, and Chris was at zero as well. He went with uh, Evan Carter of the Rangers. Uh, Linda's uh, son. Yes, uh, the, the former Wonder Woman. He's a Wonder Wall, and he uh, did not get a hit. Did not play. He did Actually, not play. So oh, gee. So oh, gee. Not not nothing happened. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. So there you go. All right. New day today. Few less teams playing. Yeah, quite a few less teams playing today. Yeah, yeah, quite a few less teams playing today. Quite a few less of a few teams yeah, playing, than playing today. today. All right, so that means you need people and uh, people, people, just, just people. people, just people. Give me Alex Kirilov of the uh, Minnesota Twinkies. Alex. They, they are playing Kirilov. Kirilov. Yeah, fourth in the league in batting currently, batting a smooth four forty four. Probably won't keep that up. Really smooth. Really smooth. I'm going to go with, from the uh, New York Metropolitans, Yeah, Francisco Lindor. Hey, he's been taking a lot of guff. Really? He's waiting for guffman. Who gave him guff? Why is he taking it? I don't know. He should give it back. Okay. Chris Rolod. Same game, different team. Same game, different team. I'm going with Kerry Carpenter. Of the Detroit Tigers? Of the Detroit Tigers. The Carpenter of the Tigers? Uh, one of the Carpenters. Yes. Good man. Okay. We're not really stuff out weapons. here. Absolutely. Uh, grab that line six, would you? See if that's who I think it is. I hope it is because we've got a special guest. Yeah, we have four minutes to get out of here uh, because we, we got to be on time for the uh, little simulcasty we're doing with, uh, with uh, KCRA. Uh, coming up at 9 a.m., then the mayor of Sacramento will join us at 9.13 as we're talking about the A's officially coming to uh, Sacramento uh, for at least three years. That was announced uh, this morning. There will be a press conference in just about an hour from now uh, out at uh, out at Sutter Field. Uh, there will be a press conference there, and uh, all the principals uh, will be there. I'm not sure if... Uh, John will be there or not. Is is that who I'm I'm thinking it is? Okay, fantastic. Because we were hoping to get this done. Uh remember, uh the A's are coming to Sacramento, but specifically the A's are coming to West Sacramento. And uh I know one of the one of the, the players in this whole thing that was absolutely vital uh was Mayor Martha Guerrero of uh the city of West Sacramento. Madam Mayor, it's uh, Carmichael Dave. Uh, Jason Ross, good morning and uh congratulations on what uh, I'm sure is a a, a big day for uh, the region and for West Sacramento specifically. Hi, Michael, Dave. Thank you so much for um, having me on this morning. We are so excited, um, excited about this partnership with Vivek and John. Um, so happy that um, with their support and leadership, we made this um, dream that we had a reality in West Sacramento. You know, I, I guess I'll just ask you because I know you have this presser in an hour and i'm not gonna you know certainly you'll you guys will talk about all the details publicly you wish i'll just ask you to give us maybe a top line on how this all came together and uh and 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 when when it was first brought to you and um you know where your where your head was at throughout this whole thing well look we are probably going to have more of those details out at the press conference um as, as you as you've mentioned 
Um, but yeah, you know, once once we heard about it, we embraced the idea. We were we've been very supportive all along. And the fact that it's happening today, it's a historic day for West Sacramento. I know there's a lot of excitement and it's probably too far along down the line. Do you do you have a gauge on what you think the community of Sacramento will react to to this overall as far as future tickets, all that stuff, all the all the frills that are coming down the line? We are planning for it to go big. We are looking at ways to make sure that um, the city provides all the support so that, you know, when the fan the fan base does is going to build in West Sacramento as a result of this partnership. And and I got to imagine, too, Madam Mayor, that uh, it's not just Major League Baseball. It's also, uh, as was detailed in the, the statement, uh, it's also the River Cats. So there is going to be... <laughs> quite a bit of triple a and major league baseball uh going on at that park which i i would imagine from your perspective one of the most important things about that is uh giving the region around there the businesses a much needed lift that's exactly right dave uh dave it's been um seen that it's going to provide an economic boost to all of our restaurants and not only that we've been shaping up the riverfront to attract that so we're ready we're ready to make it happen, and we're ready to get everybody in at Sutter House Park. Can I tell you? I know you. I know you won't answer this, but if I was uh, if I was at the press conference, one of the questions I'd ask is: since the Kings are involved and the A's are involved, will there be a green beam lit after every win? <laughs> I, I'm not going to ask you to answer that, but I, I imagine that's a question, Madam Mayor. I love it. We uh we we are late for a break, but we're we are honored to have you on. I know it's short notice. You came on. I know you're a fierce advocate from everything I hear, uh, for your city and for the region. So, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of mixed feelings with A's fans today, I'm sure, with the city of Oakland. But for your part, congratulations uh, and enjoy your moment here uh, in an hour as this thing is announced via the press conference. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Carmichael. They appreciate it. All right, take care. That is the mayor of West Sacramento, Martha Guerrero, the mayor of Sacramento, will join us uh, in about... 20 minutes in the meantime we we need to break right now when we come back uh we're going to do a simulcast so bear with us on the tech stuff but we'll do a simulcast uh with kcra channel three on this story the a's to sacramento for a minimum of three years we'll talk about that next the sacramento kings start their final road trip of the season in new york will it be fox all the way he drives left great pass inside to alex lynn and lynn gets the flush with two and a half seconds to go 21 point lead for Sacramento. It's the Kings and the Knicks from the Garden. Get all the play by play action starting at 4 30 on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Check engine light on. Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. <laughs> For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Drapes, Kyle Draper. As the proud sponsor of the Sacramento Kings Mop Crew, Alsco Uniforms offers certified hygienically clean lab coats, scrubs, bed linens, towels, floor mats, and an array of mops tailored for your healthcare facility. Our services include convenient delivery to your doorstep. Leading the way in healthcare laundry services in Northern California, discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. 
Go to ALSCO.com to learn more. Again, that's ALSCO.com. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family-owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us, and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. Golf.com's Alan Bastable offers eight sneaky ways for stubbornly average players to break 80. First, play sensible tees. Hitting seven and eight irons into greens instead of hybrids give chances at fours and threes. Check the par. There's no shame in doing so on a par 70 course. Three, check the forecast. A day after rain can mean soft greens. Four, avoid big numbers. It's not the bogeys that will derail a 79. It's a couple of bigger scores. Five, you got to believe. Give yourself a pep talk and temper the feelings of gloom. Six, keep like-minded company. If you're a grinder, play with fellow grinders or play with music or gamble if that's your game. Seven, a little luck helps. Even tour players recognize luck. Eight, don't obsess over, well, breaking 80. You're going to know if you have a good round going, so have your partner keep score. At the 18th tee, ask where you stand as it may affect the way you approach the hole. Sounds simple, huh? Now go out and do it and have some fun. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Your new home for 49ers football in the 916. Sacktown Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone. And then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Welcome back. It is officially a breaking news Thursday. The uh, Oakland A's coming to Sacramento for three years with an option for a fourth. That's what we've been covering. Uh, we will get to more Kings Knicks preview uh, later, but we've got kind of a busy time going right now in about one minute. Uh, it'll be a little interesting for y'all on the uh, radio, but you'll still be able to hear. Uh, we're going to do a simulcast with uh, our partners over at uh, KCRA Channel 3, as a matter, excuse me, uh, Channel 58. Uh, where we'll be doing a, a, a live kind of back and forth with them. We'll do that in about a minute. And uh, coming up at 9.13, you know, thank you to uh, Martha Guerrero, the mayor of West Sacramento, for coming on. Uh, and then uh, Daryl Steinberg, the mayor of Sacramento, will join us at 9.13. Uh, very quick with the mayor. I've never spoken to her before. Um, and so I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen anything. But if you're wondering why we didn't and get with this deal, uh, more into the, uh, the... It was a time crunch. It was a time crunch. Yeah. And and honestly, I don't... I don't. If I'm being frank, I don't... This is a celebratory day. Uh, I, I'm not trying to be Oprah here and uh, put her on the couch, you yeah. know, and, and, and all that. But uh, with the mayor, uh, we'll have the same conversation. But I, I, I think it's... Uh, you know, we'll ask some very fair questions. Um, and... Uh, and all that so yeah uh, i think it becomes we've said it at the beginning there's some mixed emotions there's gonna be portions of people that are very emotional one way about this and mm -hmm. others that are super excited we have our informal poll on the yeah on our own youtube that's doing better maybe than i thought it would 72 percent of the uh respondents we got yeah. a, a decent amount of respondents here are happy yeah that the a's are playing in sacramento and uh 28 say uh they are not happy uh that uh, uh, it feels dirty, okay, uh, if you will. So we're just kind of uh, vamping right now, as we can see uh, our friend Mike Cherry over uh, in the studio right now, looking at his notes with a nice A's graphic behind him in the beautiful uh, Channel 3 slash KCRA 58 studios. Mike Cherry, a, a very dapper young mm -hmm. man. Not, 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 not related to Michelle Dapper, by the way. That we know. Another, another colleague. Yeah of ours over at uh, KCLRA. So they'll be uh, linking up with us in just a second. Again, the uh, mayor of Sacramento will uh, join us in yeah. about 10 minutes. They have a VEC statement up on their screen right now. Yeah, a VEC statement, some B-roll of Sutter Health Park, by the way. What That's going to be really busy at Sutter Health Park. What? I mean, honestly. You move from Sacramento sports community. Let's get right to Mike Cherry with more on that. 
Yeah, and this morning we're going to be joined by the uh, joined by the crew from Sacktown Sports. We have Carmichael, Dave, and Jason Ross joining us right now. Thank you so much for your time, guys. All right, so let's get some instant reaction uh, to this news that just broke within the last hour. Well, you know, Mike, we were just talking about a poll we put up, and I'm a little surprised here on our broadcast for our YouTube viewers. Uh, and, and the, the choice was, are, are you excited? The A's are coming to Sacramento for the next three plus years, or, or does it feel a little dirty to you? And I believe, uh, I got it right here. 72% uh, are excited. 28% say it feels a little bit dirty, which surprised me. I thought it'd be a little closer to 50, 50. My colleague here, uh, Jason Ross, he and I are a little bit different on, on how we feel. It's a huge day for Sacramento, but Mike, as you know, from uh, 10, 12 years ago, this city was embroiled in a relocation saga, so it is a little bit bittersweet at the same time. Yeah, and again, uh, maybe either of you can speak to this. The polarizing aspect of this, you just touched on it. Uh, it's kind of bittersweet for athletics fans who are already in this region because this team was supposed to be going down to Las Vegas and relocating, but they're still going to stay in Northern California. I got to imagine that that adds to some of this bittersweet taste right now. Yeah, that's the mixed emotions I think we're talking about. Some portion of that group will be thankful that the A's are still in Northern California. Others are going to be disgusted that they didn't stay in Oakland. So I think it's it's certainly some mixed emotions, I think, for Sacramento fans of the city, of potential financial boom, of having Major League Baseball here for three to potentially four years. Um, that's really exciting, too. So I, I think, Mike, we're getting we're getting a pretty wide variety of, of emotions on this one. Yeah, again, and, and this is one of those aspects. This is a three-year-long commitment. The option on a fourth year, that is a great opportunity, I got to imagine, for the city to audition itself. Well, what have you heard in terms of how they're approaching this as using it basically as a platter to, to show uh, the diehard baseball fans uh, that the MLB has in Sacramento? Mike, I think you've touched on what's really, to me, the most fascinating part of this whole saga is – you noticed, I'm sure you read the official press release, that every single quote, whether it was from Vivek, Commissioner Rob Manfred, A's owner John Fisher, they all mentioned Las Vegas, as in this is a bridge to Las Vegas. And I, I imagine everyone, at least on the surface, is, is playing it like that. But make no mistake, I, I, I don't think all of this is happening just as a simple bridge. Now, I'm guessing here 100%. Vivek may have never, ever verbalized this. But there's the old possessions, nine-tenths of the law. Las Vegas, uh, the Tropicana, which closed Tuesday, which is the site that they plan on building the stadium. Their parent company, Bally's, is in serious financial trouble and on the verge of bankruptcy, some say. Yeah. On top of that, there's a ballot initiative uh, from a teacher's union down in Nevada that they're trying to uh, get on the ballot, I should say, to vote against a public subsidy. Also, Mike, you may have seen yesterday in Kansas City, the Super Bowl champion Chiefs had their public subsidy voted down. This is not the climate for that. So I think the underbelly of this is Kings, or excuse me, the uh, A's are coming here for three, maybe four years. But make no mistake, there's going to be a play if it opens up on keeping them here permanently. All right, so we have Sutter Health Park. That's one park, two teams. <laughs> yeah. How do you decide who plays when and where? That's the, the work of the schedule makers and the groundskeepers, I feel, for them. There's a lot of baseball that's going to be played there. The plan is to have both, so it can be done. Schedules have to be crafted ahead of time, and that that's very possible. But uh, we went from having a, a minor league team here to having two baseball teams here very quickly and playing a ton of baseball in Sacramento. Okay, so there is a, a press conference happening within the next hour, 10 o'clock hour time. What, if anything, what other details do you think might be revealed during this press conference that wasn't put in the press release just yet? Well, I think I, I'm hoping first off just just to know what, what they'll call the team. Will it be the Sacramento A's? Will it be the Oakland A's still? Will it be the Oakland A's of Sacramento? Yeah, who, who the heck knows? Um, I, I know they'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the this shared uh, clubhouses. I hope they go into uh, the Giants allowing this to happen and, and how that happened, although I don't expect them to. Uh, but there's also a question about the Players Association, Mike, and how they're going to be uh, with, with Major League Baseball players, I'm using air quotes here, Major League Baseball players sharing not only a, a AAA facility, uh, but a AAA park at the same time. Uh, and then there's the underlying question they're not going to go into, Mike, which is this. John Fisher is the worst owner in all of sports. 
he has absolutely screwed over the city of Oakland and Oakland's complicit a little bit in this. Let's not, let's not put all the blame on John, Sure, but, but he is absolutely embarrassed, embarrassed major league baseball. He has completely, if you remember the movie major league, He's Rachel. He's the showgirl oh that's wow. trying to think, but the, it's a fair point. That's who he is. And he has driven this team into the ground. And now he is breaking the hearts of Oakland fans and bringing that team to Sacramento, a city that just went through this with the Maloofs. And compared to John Fisher, the Maloofs are angels in this whole process. That's an absolute fact. So it's not just the excitement of getting the team. I, I would urge everybody to keep in mind that attached to the team is John Fisher and everywhere John Fisher goes, whether it's the A's, whether it's the earthquakes who are regularly last in the table, last in attendance, he has not shown the ability to grow or even maintain a fan base and a competitive team with exceptions. So that's part, they won't go into it at the press conference, but it's very important for Sacramento fans to understand that they're getting more than just this team. They're getting the ownership with it. Well, hopefully, unlike Major League, they don't have a life-size cutout of Fisher with the <laughs> removable parts because <laughs> we can deal without that. If you don't know what we're talking about, just yeah, go ahead and watch it. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Jason and Dave, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. All right, you too. Take care, Mike. All right, Tail, back to you. All right, we'll take a break. Thank you to uh, Channel 58 and Mike Cherry. When we come back, the mayor of Sacramento, Daryl Steinberg, right here on KHDK. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year, all-stars and all-NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox, a breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team, Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Put the phone on D and D. That means that do not disturb when you're driving. And when you're going from point A to B, I need you to stay safe, please. So always sing with me. So put your phone on D and D. That means that do not disturb when you're driving. And when you're going from point A to B, I need you to stay safe, please. So always remember this beat. Don't drive distracted. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. The Angie's List you know and trust is now Angie, and we're so much more than just a list. We still connect you with top local pros and show you ratings and reviews, but now we also let you compare upfront prices on hundreds of projects and book a service instantly. We can even handle the rest of your project from start to finish. So remember, Angie's List is now Angie, and we're here to get your job done right. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I, or download the app today. They bleed black and purple. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on your local sports leader, Sacktown Sports. <laughs> We appreciate everybody adjusting on the fly. Today's been a busy day. Breaking news, as you heard early on in the show. The Oakland A's on their way to Sacramento, a deal that's been agreed to. Three years with an option of a fourth. Press conference coming up at 10. So much more coming up today with Styles and Watkins, because uh, that's going to be right at the heart of the press conference. We know that those guys will have their reaction to that. Uh, thanks to everyone helping us out. Chris is doing amazing things back there. We got that simulcast done with uh, Mike Cherry, who I was so proud of. Got your major league yeah. reference. Yes. I did not. I, I'm like, oh, Dave, that's a good pull, but he's, mm. it's not. you're not going to land it. No. You landed it. He got it. And the visual he provided? Yes. It's not great. He, he got it, though. Uh, I also, before we talk to the mayor, I, I, I should make something clear, too, because kind of kind of went in on uh, A's ownership there. Um, I, my vitriol or my hesitance on this does not necessarily extend. I, in fact, I... You know, the mayors involved, uh, the mayor of West Sac, uh, the VEC. Uh, I'm sure Matina Colacatronis was incredibly, oh, yeah, all, uh, all incredibly the parts. involved. Um, I get it. I get what they're doing. I get it. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not faulting them. Now I got to have a conversation with Vivek about how he, he, the rationalization in his head 
he was right there with us in the fight. Yeah. I'd be, I'd love to hear his thoughts. Um, but it's not directed at them. I'm, I'm angry with A's ownership. Yeah. I'm, I'm angry with how this whole thing turned around. And I'm not going to lie. I'm probably, whether appropriately or inappropriately, I'm directing a lot of my sure. King's PTSD at this. Joining us right now, Jason Ross. It is, uh, it is a mayor Thursday. Uh, the, gosh, I don't even want to say the outgoing mayor. It's like April, dude. Like, there's there's still a long way to go. There's but, always work to be done. Uh, soon to be outgoing. Enjoy him while we have him. Uh, longtime mayor of Sacramento, longtime advocate for Sacramento, uh, longtime fighter uh, for the Sacramento Kings when he was in the state Senate. And as I said earlier, as much as he loves basketball and he is a diehard, he uh, he lives and breathes baseball. Mm. Uh, he is a lifelong Giants fan. The mayor of Sacramento, Daryl Steinberg. Mr. Mayor, good morning. Hey, Jason. Great to be with you. Is there some breaking news this morning? <laughs> Anything you want to tell us? <laughs> there's a, yeah, apparently there's another baseball team that's going to uh, that's going to play uh, there in uh, West Sacramento. And uh, they're, they're, there's going to be a presser here in uh, about 45 minutes, Mr. Mayor. Well, I'm and I happen to be in Los Angeles uh, speaking on uh, my, my my favorite topic, uh, mental health and improving that system. But I will be back and holding a press conference with my colleagues uh, sometime in the mid-afternoon. And I just want to say, well, I put out a statement, you guys, and I I have to start with this because uh, it is a great day for Sacramento. And yet I have mixed emotions because I still feel for the people of Oakland and and the city of Oakland. Um, They deserve their team and teams. And yet, as we've talked about on your show, several times we um we've been consistent on that and we aren't the cause of that uh that breach and um and the choice is sacramento or salt lake city i um i can say without hesitation uh that this is a great day for sacramento because uh and for california uh and our entire region because uh, the state keeps an asset at least for three years. And, um, and we know what Sacramento means when it comes to sports, when it comes to a growing dynamic city. Um, as I said in my statement today, to me, is, um, is the stuff of dreams. So, Mr. Mayor, what would you say, because I think you worded that perfectly, is mixed emotions. There are plenty of people very excited for this, and there's others. that, And we're really talking to that hardcore Oakland A's fan that has been there, that been had memories uh, family generations long. What would you say to that group that's uh, maybe not feeling the love today? Um, I understand your pain. We almost lost the team, if you remember. That's what uh, what leads us here in many respects in 2013 with our Kings. And I think um, it's why I have said from the very beginning the A's should be in Oakland. But there are things beyond our control, and I suppose there are things beyond any fans control and Sacramento is only 90 miles from Oakland and you can continue to love and enjoy your team just from, you know, a slightly farther distance. Um, And, and, you know, I I guess if I want to look at it from the glass half full, from their perspective, you know, Sacramento is part of a Northern California mega region. We we're not separate really from the Bay area. When you think about, all of the commonality, the numbers of people that have moved up to this region, um, the the back and forth on the train, um, the fact that our economies are in many ways linked together. And so I don't sugarcoat it for people who feel bad about this. I understand. Um, we, um, we've been in that position and um, – And I wish there had been more, you know, cities back in 13 that sort of stood with us. Like I stood with Oakland uh, and will continue to, but it is what it is. And let's, uh, we can only look forward in life and for Northern California, for Sacramento, for California, this is um, even with the mixed emotions as mayor of this city. uh, I mean, I'm really, really thrilled. So it's, um, it's one of those, it's one of those days. The other thing that, you know, I just reflect on is how the tough times we've been through in Sacramento over these past years with the pandemic and, and a lot of challenges. And yet 
success begets success. Because in 2013, we made this decision, and I was proud to have been a big part of it as Senate Pro Tem, as you, as you said, Dave. And but for that decision, we would not be in a position to bring uh, Major League Baseball to Sacramento. And you know, I, I have such gratitude to Vivek Ramadive and to the Kings <clears throat> for really uplifting our city and our region and continuing to believe and invest. And I know it's a big business. That's what it is. Um, and yet um, their big business decisions are benefiting the city and the region that, uh, that we all love. So I'm grateful. The mayor of Sacramento, Daryl Steinberg. And, uh, I know you've covered a, a good portion of this, Mr. Mayor, uh, but I'll, I'll say, and I don't think you'll mind this, um, you know, over the years, you and I, you and I have had many, uh, spirited conversations uh, off air about different things and generally would come down on the same side. Uh, but we've had disagreements before and uh, obviously very, uh, very, very respectful. And, and uh, you, you were right, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, <laughs> uh, I just, I, I, I don't want to belabor the point because you're right. Of course, <laughs> this is a big day for Sacramento in, in, in even the most ardent, a uh, hater of this whole thing has to acknowledge that economically uh, from a spotlight point of view, a national point of view of uh, being on display for uh, investment point of view. Uh, it's, it's, you go from, uh, you know, zero plus to now you add in a major league team. And by the way, you, you keep your minor league team there. I, I have no argument against that. I, I just, <sighs> As somebody, I know how important you and Vivek and KJ and Stern and the ownership group that was amassed, the, the Kings aren't here without those entities. And it was just a little over a decade ago. Help me get past this dirty feeling I have when I, I can't shake the idea that Oakland, for all its faults, was deleveraged by Sacramento and Salt Lake City. And I don't know if I can wrap my head around, well, yeah. if somebody's going to commit the crime, it might as well be us that takes the you know cash from the bank. Help me get past this feeling I, I'm stuck with that we did to Oakland now or helped facilitate now with this owner what we would have absolutely, and you would have been out there. You can't tell me that if the Kings had officially sold to Seattle and the whole thing was done and Key Arena needed to be renovated or Hanson was going to build that downtown arena and then uh, Reno stepped up and while well, we were fighting for the team and you were in New York with KJ and Reno stepped up and said, well, it's so bad in sack, we're going to house the Kings for three to four years. You would have, you would have made a statement against Reno. You would have been out you there know, i think you know, right I don't, I don't know i don't think i would okay, have okay it's it, it, it's time for us to have another disagreement here it's okay good. that's um, fair the uh let, let me try to help so <clears throat> seattle and that ownership group let's take the ownership group and so much the city but that ownership group was deliberately trying to take our team away and we fought them and we won mm -hmm. If they had succeeded, and thank God they didn't, Amen. and there had been a temporary move, as you say, to Reno, <laughs> Reno would have had nothing to do with trying to take the team away from Sacramento. A and, and so we have been, and, and I can say that now we've gone beyond that analogy in terms of this situation, because you've had at least me as the mayor and many others say, for a long time publicly that the A's belong in Oakland. And I'm saying it here again today, but we are not the cause of in any way, directly or indirectly. Are we a symptom? The breach in, the breach in Oakland. Um, are we a symptom? I suppose we're a beneficiary okay. in some ways. Of okay. course we yeah. are. That's fair. But, but, but we didn't cause it and directly or indirectly. And it's not like we're, we're stickering in the back here and, and saying, well, because we have been upfront from the very beginning about 
Oakland, Oakland deserving to keep the A's. So it's just different. And so uh, we have to look forward. And this is Northern California. And when we have an opportunity to add a tremendous asset and continue to enhance our reputation and do it in a way that is not at the expense of another city uh, in terms of our own actions, uh, uh, there's a balance, I know, but the balance for me says we go forward and we and we celebrate today um, while we acknowledge that 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 um, that Oakland deserved to keep the team. Sometimes in life, you just have to live with conflicting emotions. There is nothing, you know, there's nothing perfect. It's like in any anything in life. Um that um, you, you, you acknowledge the negative side, but that doesn't mean you don't celebrate the good side, especially when your hands are clean. And our hands are clean. Talk with the mayor here, Mayor Daryl Steinberg. Kind of the thought that you shared that Sacramento was kind of always ready. You said it like, look, staying in Oakland was priority number one, but if not, here is an opportunity for Sacramento. Is the same line of thinking kind of a quote unquote backup plan. Hey, if Vegas doesn't work out, this is another safety net. Is there any thought on that today or is that just kind of in the background right now? Well, it's in the background today, but certainly this is going to be an audition uh, over these next uh, three to four years. And I know we're going to pass it with flying colors and what the future brings with baseball, uh, with the A's themselves in Las Vegas, we don't know what the future may bring with expansion uh we don't know but this is going to be a great showcase for sacramento because the country saw it you know last may and june during the nba playoffs the country has seen it episodically we see it in experience every single day that for all of our challenges this is a dynamic growing city there is a culture of inclusion, a culture of, 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 um, of hunger for more. And th- there's a special sauce in Sacramento, in the city and in the region. And now for the next three to four years, um, a broader swath of the public and around the country, passionate baseball fans will be able to see uh, what we bring. And, you know, the Kings, again, were the game changer um, because this conversation wouldn't be happening if we hadn't saved the Kings and if Vivek and the Kings team had not built what they built here over these past 10 years. Um, this is a, a professional business and, it's a, and, and they are investing now in a growing and top-notch city. And I don't know, it's... Uh, this is great for Sacramento. And believe me, it doesn't hurt us when it comes to future sports opportunities. We all know our history with MLS. I've talked about it, talked about it at the state of the downtown last Tuesday. Um, you know, uh, our future is boundless when it comes to when it comes to sports and entertainment and art and culture and industry and housing and more workforce and affordable housing. You know, um, I'm going to be leaving here with uh, having served through a pretty tortured time, but I hope uh, having laid a pretty good foundation for the future. That's why he's leaving, Jason. He knew this was happening a while ago, so you're going to see see retired Daryl with hair down to his shoulders and old raggedy ball caps sitting. And all the Kings in uh, A's games. All the Kings in A's games. Even though he's a Giants fan. <laughs> yeah. Have one of those split hats or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little That's a little bit of a conflict, but that's another one that I'm, I'll get over. <laughs> we, appreciate your, we, we appreciate your time, Mr. Mayor. I know it's a busy day. Good luck down there in, in Southern California spreading the word. Thank you, as always. I'm sure this isn't the last conversation we'll have uh, on or off air uh, about this. But as always, uh, your well, time's appreciated. 
Look forward to many more, you guys. Thanks so much for all you do. Thank Bye, you, Bye, Bye Dave and Jason. Right. Bye-bye. Take Bye-bye. care. That's uh, the mayor of Sacramento, Daryl Steinberg. We'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, where are we here? Oh, yeah, what to watch tonight. We also have breaking news. Uh, we have a uh, detail now, another detail that's leaked out uh, about the A's in Sacramento. What will they be called? Uh, apparently, we know now what they will be called. Hint, they'll be called the A's, but where? We'll tell you next. The Sacramento Kings start their final road trip of the season in New York. He bots all the way. He drives left. Great pass inside to Alex Lynn. And Lynn gets the flush with two and a half seconds to go. 21 point lead for Sacramento. It's the Kings and the Knicks from the Garden. Get all the play by play action starting at 4 30 on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawon'twait.com. Bonneville International Radio Station Contests are open to participants at least 18 years of age and older that are residents of California and who reside in one of the six counties that make up the Sacramento metro area, unless otherwise specified. Employees or agents of the station, Bonneville International Corporation, other area radio stations, or any entity associated with the contest are not eligible to win unless the station otherwise specifies in its own discretion. Persons who have won in the last 30 days from a station contest or event may not be eligible. For a copy of the general contest rules, visit khtk.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave for my good friends at American Energy. Now, I've told you this before, but this is what we call extending a good deal right now. American Energy Heat and Air is offering an HVAC diagnostic for $99. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Never mind. They're offering it free. It's a $99 value, but you get it for zero. Let the American Energy team test your system connections and all the moving parts of that system to ensure that it's functioning properly. Now, this is a limited time offer. Call today to schedule your appointment at 916-520-9990. Speak to the company that has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that's been making the greater Sacramento area proud since 1981. 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Call 916-520-9990. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T-level is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T-level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Plus, with free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. 
Schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation today. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. This segment is brought to you by Kia of Vacaville. Check them out at kiavacaville.com. Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. One thing I'm not going to do, Jason, is just push my own thoughts without pushing the whole thing. Um, both sides. So while I was talking to the mayor, I got a text from, again, somebody that knows things. Yeah. And said that, in, you know, in, in, in his opinion or her opinion, uh, and, and, and for what it's worth, and I think it's important to add this to the conversation. You know, when I had asked the mayor about any reticence based on what happened with the Kings in Seattle, and I got a text saying, here's a key difference. The Kings were not approved by the ownership groups to move to Seattle. It was never approved by the NBA. The A's to Vegas has already been unanimously approved, and that's a key step. Because one thing that I, now now that we get into the post-mortem, I need to, I want to, for my own personal and also for a lot of people out there who may or may not care, I need to know about the leverage in Oakland and how much, if any, or a lot, Sacramento's pitch had to do with deleveraging right. Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Chow and, and everybody involved there. It's To me, it's still a complete tragedy, and it doesn't change how I feel in any way, shape, or form about John Fisher. There is a nuance between the Kings pantsed Oakland and in the process got the team and took away their leverage. And there was absolutely positively no way on God's green earth that the A's were ever going to stay in Oakland no matter what. I think that's less nuance. And it was simply a choice between sacramento and salt lake now i know that's going to be a talking point i just i just want to find the undeniable proof because no in this day and age nobody's just going to buy that at face value i don't blame them yeah that's i'm with you because like when the other day we were trying to parse these two things apart and i said look i don't even know if oakland if john fisher and the a's are negotiating in good faith with oakland's counter right so like oakland will go look (laughs) at what we did look at our statement here's what we offered they're not willing to work with us and then the A's will come back with, we've been trying to work with the city. It's like, well, I, that's your press release talk. Mm-hmm. What was really happening? And if they negotiated in good faith and there truly was nothing there, which is what I'm sure some Sacramento people will say, yeah. then this was a place for obviously a huge benefit potentially to the city. As this news continues to break and flower and bloom uh, in about 25 minutes, right when we get off the air, of course, they did that on purpose. They'll have a press conference down at Sutter Health Field. Yeah. Uh, I'm told we'll at least have somebody down there. I don't know what, if any, audio Styles and Watkins will grab. I just don't know. They'll I, be I'll, all over it, though. Yeah, they will be all over it throughout the day, uh, as will uh, the drive guys. So we will have wall-to-wall comprehensive coverage of this. Also, uh, as details begin to leak out a little bit, we do have some minor breaking news involved. When it breaks, we have it first. It's Sacktown Sports breaking news. One of the questions is, well, what will they be called? Will they be called the Oakland A's still? Will they be called the Sacramento A's? Will they be called the Sacramento A's of Oakland or Oakland A's of Sacramento? Will they be the California A's? Will they be the A's at uh, Sutter Health Field of Sacramento? I don't know. Well, I do. They'll be the A's, Jason. What's the rest, Dave? The A's. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome out the A's. The A's. Your A's. Not not <laughs> Oakland. Not Oakland. Not Oakland. Talk about practice. Yeah. Not Sacramento. Not Vegas. Not Vegas. Not West Sacramento. Not West Sacramento. They will be the A's. I'm assuming green and yellow. Green and gold? I don't know, but I can't. I have to imagine. Now, now I have a sub-question now that that news is out. And, and, and listen, I'm on record how I feel about this right now, but I'm not going to deny it. I'm a gearhead. Not the guy who works on cars, yeah. but I love gear. Is that going to rob us of Sacramento A's gear? Yep. And, well, and get your ass back to Oakland. The Doug, A's hat does not say Oakland. That's fine. 
So you could wear an A's hat. I want Sa- Sacramento on something. The Sac Clinics. The I don't know. It's like the one thing I was uh, like the one thing I was looking for. One That's thing. the one positive. I don't you care about it. the red. I want gear. Buy it. Well, there will be plenty of Sacramento baseball jerseys for the Sacramento River, River Cats, Cats playing in the same stadium. Which is the Giants, which is weird. Remember when they were the A's affiliate? Yes. Hey, come on. You can't even take a... Look, I already have to deal with a wife that didn't take my last name. Now I got to deal with a ball club that won't take my city's name? What, are you embarrassed? What, is Sacramento not good enough for you? Is it good for your home? It's not your home. Dave just wants merch. I just want the merch. That's the only thing I that's the only thing I was getting out of this thing. The merch. Uh, but when they're on their 113th loss. I mean, that's a great point, by the in way. August. That's a wonderful point. Yeah. You didn't wear King's gear when they were losing every year? I did. But I don't have that, that attachment to the, this team yet. Yet. I shouldn't have said that. That was a Freudian slip. I'm saying this team. Look. Listen. I'm going to tell you something you're going to be surprised at. I will guarantee you right now, based on what I know, I will guarantee you right now, I will, I will, if they play three years here, I will quit my job here at KHDK if the A's aren't a 100 win team. I guarantee you they will be 100 total. Yeah, total for three years. But still, I did a little thing there. Yeah. Not in a year. Allen won the baby races. What, wait, I mean, it, it, what's the over-under on wins in those three years, by the way? About 170? Do you think? Let's see, 50 a year. Their over-under this year was 40-something. Was it? Right? <laughs> so if it's 50, 150. I still believe in, in this. Uh, they'll sign. I have a feeling they're going to sign, like, one guy this summer just to pump things up. I think up. they'll be a little bit more. Honestly, I mean. Rodrigo I'm not, Lopez. I'm not <laughs> suggesting that uh, Fisher will be spending boatloads of money because that has not been what no, he's done. It. he hasn't spent a tugboat of money. That is a thimble of money. A bat flap of money. And, and they just lost revenue off the TV deal. We're going to be getting... Uh, but I think they're going to spend some money. They're going to... Yeah, if we're going to get the great value A's. That's what we're going to get. Aisle three, not the brand think name. Think about the story when they shocked the world. What, with the breaking the loss record? At least one of Sacramento on the jersey, Chris. Wow, I didn't have you for front runner. I'm not. I'm not a front runner. I'm not a back runner either. That's good. They should call themselves the caboose. Is I believe that's the plural for caboose. Goodbye, because they're going to be holding up the rear. Make no mistake, you ain't getting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You ain't getting the Yankees. You're not getting the Orioles. You're not getting the Rays. You're not getting the. You're not getting the Reds. I don't know. Aren't they kind of like 500-ish? A little below? Sure. <sighs> Getting too old for this crap, said Danny Glover. Oh, we got a cross. See you on opening day. You will. And, and we'll cover it. And maybe there will be a day where I can wrap my head around it. And Yes, you will. I mean. You will. To this moment, like right now. Yes. Do you still have the same, like the feeling you have for Ace fans? I totally get, and I'm not trying to trivialize that or minimize that. That's legit. I I feel it too. Do you feel that today for Oakland Raider fans? They're in Vegas. It's been there a couple of years. I you don't have the same kind of. I don't. Nor do I have for the Warriors. Leaving right. Oakland too. You're and I'm not saying right. like You're oh right. you'll get over. That's yeah. not what I'm saying. But you, no. this is raw right I, now. I, I I don't have that feeling. They You're, lost their team. They lost both those teams. You're 100 percent right. One thing that hurts though too is that John Fisher had major hands in those franchises leaving, and and the Giants had. And this is a big reason why I said I'm I'm done right now with this Giants ownership group. Is there the blood on their hands involving this whole thing and, and cutting off San Jose? The difference between the Raiders and the difference between um, the Warriors, though, Jason, for me, is that they didn't relocate to Sacramento. We're we're not involved in those, and that that's I got to I know I got to get over it. It's fine. I I really like the people behind this. 
I just I got a really hard time looking at fans and and look and you want know, to say I'm being dramatic, you want to say I'm being over emotional, you want to say I'm reading too much into it. You're probably right about all three. There's a lot of people you know, respect, like, yes, yes, yes. that are behind the Sacramento yes, part. Yes, and I, I, I don't know, very maybe, much. Maybe like. they have agendas, but I also feel like they. I don't know. I could be wrong. They have agendas and those are doing it for a good reason too. I understand the agendas. I mean, I'm aligned with a lot of those agendas, which is growing. You, you look, I don't have a brand, but if I did have a brand, it would be the city of Sacramento and whatever's good for Sacramento. We're not Carmichael. Dave doesn't work in Houston or New York. You know, we, you and I are Sacramentans to the core again in a vacuum. This is wonderful for the city. It's just the other uh, accoutrements. But you know what? This, it, you said it's new. It's raw. It's breaking. It's happening. And we'll have a press conference here in about uh, 17 minutes about that as well. Styles and Watkins are going to come in for a little crosstalk and celebrity birthdays next. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackOnSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. I'm Ken Korak with our first Green and Gold Report for 2024, brought to you by Xfinity 10G, the network made for streaming. Well, for the A's to turn around their fortunes this year, they'll have to play better defense than they've shown early in the season. Now, bright spots on the mound. Paul Blackburn went seven in the last game of the Cleveland series, three hits and no runs. And then Kyle Muller in the first game against the Red Sox comes out of the bullpen. Five and a third, one hit, and six strikeouts. Want more speed? Well, Xfinity just increased their internet speeds, and they're faster than ever. It's time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from Xfinity. Now through June 21st, get 150 megabit Xfinity internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. That's double the speed for the same great price. Click, call, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with store bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment, taxes, and other charges extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment best food best service and the best action that's capital casino for more information on tournaments and gaming check out their website at capital-casino.com and please remember to gamble responsibly 1-800-GAMBLER Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert Dustin Lynch Jay Cohen and more to get started just 46 bucks country in the park may 17th and 18th at cal expo for more information visit citpfest.com brought to you by fitty and fiber dawson oil company and good guys heating and cooling it's time for the news of the day the latest headlines the biggest stories hard-hitting analysis Yeah, this is none of those things. And now, here's Carmichael Dave and Jason Ross. Yeah! So as I was saying, (laughs) please, you can't take a porcupine, light it on fire, throw it a bar to call a licorice. Yeah, that's insane. That was pretty good if that was off the top of my head. It was, it's an old Dennis Miller bit. Good morning, how are you? Man, a lot of different feelings going on right now. Uh, we've been saying, uh, do you eat something weird? <laughs> oh, you're talking about sports. Yeah. Uh, we've been saying all day, I, I, I didn't want to put a, a show in your mouth, but Hello. I'm imagining you guys will have comprehensive coverage of the A's. I know the press conference is Yeah, happening. we're going live. We're going live awesome. with the press conference. We're doing live. Right. We're going live Same with the energy. press conference right at 10 a.m. So don't, don't touch that dial. We're going to have a ton of coverage. We're going to be replaying some of 
the interviews that you guys did as well. You guys have been doing a great job. Thanks. And of course, yeah. we'll still thank have you. No, thank you. our own our I own you. reactions. A lot of time for calls as well. Don't worry. The phone lines were off the hook yesterday. A lot of time for your calls, a lot of time for your texts. And then we still okay, we have King's it. Roundtable. <laughs> we, this is a, the best really? I've ever done it. I've never done it that this well. Wow. King's Roundtable still at, at 1230. That's why you're not, it's, you're not the sort of slowest growing no, show. No, it's the and, fastest growing. Uh, so, you, right. so you're so you going to carry the presser live at 10. Yes, you're going to replay it at noon for those who mm -hmm. missed it. That, friends, is called Lazy Radio, and I'm here for it. I'm 100%. <laughs> I have no idea what you're That's talking That's a good about. hour of content, bro. no idea what you're talking about. Uh, the A's coming to Sacramento. They're having a press that. conference. I didn't hear today. that. You didn't hear that at all? This is the wow. big the day. Uh, as first reported by Sacktown Sports. <laughs> Dave, great yeah. job with that break. That I was outstanding. That. Yeah. Oh, I it, it. No, no so let me tell bad. you why. First off, it's it's you're breaking a lot of people's hearts. Yeah. Secondly, Alan, I, I'm not saying this as a flex. I'm just honestly asking because uh, we're, we're still getting to know each other. Have you ever broken any news in your career? Not like that. Uh, any, I'm saying the problem is. Mm -hmm. You are completely puckered until it's confirmed. Mm -hmm. And it didn't really get confirmed until this morning right. when they put out the statement. Especially when you're dealing with wackadoodles like John Fisher and his outfit. Because you don't know what the hell can happen. And yeah. you miss one time. I was telling him earlier, I still get blamed for MLS not coming to Sacramento. I broke that story. The damn commissioner was downtown having a press conference and, still and have the scarf. There, thank you. And scarf. there's people that go, "You said MLS was coming." I'm like, "Bro, what? What did you? Did you? Did you? Did I? Am I Nostra dumbass yeah. here? I, I can't. The commissioner was here. Mm -hmm. You miss one time, and it's over. You you never live it down. So, oh, breaking news! But it's a stress ball. Dude. Is the risk worth the reward? Not really. I, I, yeah, kind of. Well, I knew it, and I knew it, and we reported it. We're on it. That's our jobs. But like, I don't know how Woj. And the, I don't know how they. I do not know. How they, they, it's almost I do. like they oh, rarely. Sure. Baseball, <laughs> baseball guys will miss, but it feel like those two guys, Woj and yeah, Schechter, yeah. they just don't miss. They never miss. Yeah. yeah. Uh, real quick, today, and you didn't miss me. I didn't miss. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, today is uh, National Burrito Day, guys. Uh, yeah. I'll, yep. I'll ask you a question that uh, uh, we asked earlier. This court. And I'm going to ask you to hold your answer until I do a countdown. I want you to say your answers together. So one word, yes or no. And so you're not influenced by the other. So don't give me the button. Is an egg roll a burrito? Three, two, one. No. Yes. I say I say yes by definition. So what no. about lumpia? You did. Yeah. I did. So lumpia yeah. too. Lumpia is a mini burrito. Lumpa. It's a baby burrito. It's a lumpa. Lumpa. But by definition, just like, and Chris was like, well, is a gyro a burrito? And I was like, no, a gyro is a taco. What's your favorite? I thought you were going to ask favorite <laughs> meat in a burrito. He's coming after us, Chris. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm just saying, though. By definition, a it's a taco. No. What's the definition of a taco? A taco is Pizza. a thing that uh, it's like an unclosed sandwich, a half closed sandwich with a thing that so you a put hot stuff dog. in. It's be wrapped in is a hot dog a taco? Is, I asked Vivek that one. No, that wasn't what I asked. No, oh, no. I asked him, what, what was it? Would you rather fight? Would you rather fight one, 100 Duck-sized horses or ten horse-sized ducks? That's yeah. That's I thought you were going to ask your favorite meat in a burrito. Yeah, what's your uh, okay? Fine. That what's would have made sense. Yeah, what, what, <laughs> what, what, what's your favorite meat in a burrito? It used to be egg roll. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, an egg roll burrito. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it used to be carne asada, but I've I've been on the Al Pastor. Bandwagon. Al Pastor. We used to work with that. Yes. Was he had dangers. By, <laughs> by the way, Sacramento, the, the market that they have in downtown Sacramento, yeah. they posted for National Burrito Day. There are going to be a bunch of different burrito spots. So I will be there all Saturday. day. Oh. I'm definitely having at least two. Oh, two burritos? Hey. That's a lot. Wow. You can't do that. How do you yeah. keep that small figure of yours? It's, a it's also uh, it's also National Chicken Cordon Blue Day. I, I will say I'm a fan. That's why I'm in. Yeah, I like chicken. That's the one with the ham in it. Yeah, yeah ham yeah. and like uh, I, don't, I, don't, oh, I don't like to mix my meat. Celebrity birthdays. Uh, birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends. Uh, nothing. Nothing uh, does that better than trouble cookies. Uh, Jason Ross. Yeah. Back to you. 
You know what? I'm going to send it back to you. <laughs> no, <laughs> you ready? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm okay, we'll call you back. Yeah, okay. All right. Happy birthday to <laughs> David. Pause. <laughs> Hasselhoff. Duchovny. Uh, right. Cool. And Letterman. David the Magician. Uh, Blaine. 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 David Blaine. How old is David Blaine? No clue. David Blaine. 53. Yeah, 53. David Blaine, friend of the station, by the way, David Blaine. Oh, yeah. actually, uh, he used to he used to be <laughs> Without Al Pastor. Yeah, without Al Pastor and Blaine. Yeah. We don't mix meats. Uh, 57. 57, 53. Uh, 50. 49. Uh, Chris Watkins is close. as 51. Oh, wow, he's young. Happy Ish. birthday, Robert. Duvall. Neil Redford. Robert Sarver. Robert oh, Covington. Robert Goulet. <laughs> oh, Clemente. Hey, Robert Goulet. Robert hey. Downey Jr. Iron Man. Yeah. Some uh, call him Iron Man. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. 56. No. 56. Really? What? I do. What are you going with? 54. Bro, he was in the... Uh, Not 50s. He was in the... <laughs> what? what was the group? The Brat Pack. 59. Yeah. Okay. We have a correct answer. Chris Vermont, 59. Ah, almost 60. Happy birthday. Nice. Remember that for next year. Yeah. Jack Harlow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack and Black. the Beanstalk. Oh, Black. That's a good one. Former Oakland Jack Raiders Black. coach. Oh, Jack uh, Del Rio. Uh, Del Rio. Jack Del Rio, <laughs> Jack Del Rio is Jack of the River. 65. <laughs> that was the season, by the way. Yeah. Eric Carr broke it. Yeah. 61. Jack Del Rio is 62. 63. We have a correct answer that goes to Chris Watkins. Oh, 61. Jack oh, Del Rio extra Chris yeah. Watkins. Oh, Happy well, birthday, oh Scott. My, I don't know. March. That. I don't want that. It is coming up. It's uh, two days. He sent it out to center health. God. Oh, yes, right now. Right now. Be on the, he's on the scene. He's on the scene, on the scene so he's going to be letting us know the vibes and things like that. Scott Hall. Willard Scott. Pollard. Ooh, Pollard. Scott and Roland. Hamilton. Oh, Roland. Third baseman. He hit dingers. He, he did hit dingers. Uh, he is, uh, Scott Roland is, it's a big 5-0 for him today. 47. 48. I think you guys were right. 46. He's younger. 48. 49. Oh. 48. 50. All right. So, uh. By the way, the poll, it made a surprise, 221 votes, 74 yeah. yes, excited about the A's, 26% no feels a turn. And that was a, and that, a lot of response. That was a big poll. Yeah. Yes. Right. All right, so a lot of coverage for you guys today. Yes. It is uh, A's central. Wall to wall. No meet yes. next in five, yeah. five no. minutes. We will have the press conference. Every day. Okay. A lot of stuff going on today. I'm going to tool around here afterwards. Hopefully, you know any people. Quitting their job yesterday. <laughs> More of that, uh, Styles and Walker coming up next. And you're so. home of the Kings and home of the A's. I'm trying to quit too. That kind of <laughs> you never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. He can for another triple. Man, is he feeling it? Can he do it? Yes, there's no.